So what you're saying is bullies function as a sort of social watchdog. Exactly. Well, we found that bullies tend to sniff out the troubled or stupid student. You're older than I am, Carl. Tell me how old you are. I'm 37. You've read my docs. Don't be stupid. I haven't. Do you know what I've heard, Jim? What's that? I've heard that it's not your name. I've heard that it's a fake docs. And I've heard a convincing story as to why we should think that's a fake docs. Oh, so you discuss my docs in detail <laughs> with people, do you? That's oh, smart, yeah. Carl. You're looking really good today. Really bad. Yeah, I'm, 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 You're a smart boy. You're a smart boy, Carl. Are you a moron? Better question, V. Are you a moron? You're buying this load of shit? And make sure this sociopathic and bad behavior gets nipped in the bud right away before it can become a problem. Good morning, Lauren. I've just raped you. Yes! <laughs> I have AUT, ISM, autism. I mean, you've seen all these school shooters. Pathetic beta male. I uh, know his take was that you're a beta pussy bitch. You got beat up by a tranny. You are lying about being emotionally damaged with your lawsuit. And he's probably going to make fun of your wife, but you didn't show him a picture. Oh, and also you're boring as shit and you talk way too slow. That Nothing gets you in fight mode. A guy punching you in the face doesn't get you in fight mode. What, what am I you're supposed so to? Beta. But you, you're just a beta. That's mm. why they don't, they don't like you. You talk okay. shit. And then when you get confronted with them, you're like, oh, I, I love you. you. I love your channel. I can't wait to watch it. Like, what? You have no girlfriend. <laughs> Just imagine how many less there'd be if they had been bullied early and often. Early and often. Well, hello, chat, and a happy Sunday fun day to you. It has been a busy couple of weeks. There's been a, a lot of happenings going on, and uh, we're going to cover a lot of it, but it looks like a surprise happened today, and I'm kind of tempted to go over so we can watch what happened in real time, because this happened maybe a half an hour before I started up this stream. Apparently, Don Sargoon uh, thought he wanted to go back to the well a little bit, you know, build up some of that ego again uh, by dunking on some of those... SJW blue-haired feminists teach them a lesson, you know, put them in their place. Except it didn't, it didn't actually go to plan. So I, I've got to ask Chat, and I wish we had a, a polling option like they do on Stream Me over here, but they don't. 
So, Chad, give me a one if you want to watch the debacle of Sargon getting his shit pushed in by uh, Christy Winters. And give me a two if you're not interested. We'll pull chat and see if you want to watch that. It's a little bit spicy. It's a little bit sad. I feel a little bad for him to get slapped around like that on a stream in front of people. I've seen a lot of ones, but I'll give it a minute. I'll give it a minute for people to catch up. Oh, it looks like chat. It looks like chat wants to watch Sargoon uh, get smacked around by a feminist for for a little while. All right. Well, let me pull that up. I got it bookmarked. Uh, I think he's left the stream. They humiliated him to the point where he rage quit. Um, oh no, he's he's oh he's still on. He's still on. I'm going to time code this so we can get right at the beginning. <laughs> right, right, at the, right at the beginning. Uh, chat, just to give you an idea of how they're viewing this. Uh, this is Christy Winter and Kevin Logan, and they, they're doing their own little stream. And apparently Sargon wanted to come on, and I, I, I'm not fucking kidding you. This is the description they put under the video. I just think we should read it before we go watch this itself. Christy and Kev's Happy Hour, 2018 Blue Wave with Sargon of Akkad. And then Christy Winters puts in the fucking description, and what we presume is some sort of desperation... Sargon of Akkad asked if he could join our happy hour. Find out what goes on by joining us when we go live. So even Christy Winters and Kevin Logan are seeing this just shocking amount of desperation coming from Sargon. So let's go take a look. Let's let's see what's going on over there. Uh, I, I have my window display capture ready to go, I believe. Let me just double check here. Nope, that would be the wrong one. That would have been chat. Let's try Let's try this again. No, chat again. Right, let's get rid of chat. Sorry, chat. Go to Windows Capture. There we go. I think that's that's fairly good. Uh, it will, we'll, we'll go through it a little by little. I've got some, some time codes written down. We'll see how it goes. Let me just get everything set up here. Thing against Trump, because that's ultimately what it's going to be. Trump has shown that his base is going to hold up. It's whether we can put up... Uh, let's see where he joins in. Against him. Yeah, and the Democratic Party, you've go. got Kristen Cinema pulling out ahead in Arizona, and there he is. Hello, folks. Sorry about the delay there. Nature called, and uh, you can't resist, can you? So, uh, how are you guys doing? You're right. Yeah, yeah. We were just having a chat about the election results. Right. How's yeah. how's your D and D game going with V? I haven't had time to watch it yet. Uh, it went okay last night. Uh, everybody yeah. survived, so that's generally a good game. Well, it is when V's in, like, <laughs> in charge. Yeah, well, he wasn't really in charge. In fact, he he said oh, he part DMing? of the fight out. No, no, he's just one of the players. Ah, right, okay. Well, that's lucky because yeah. uh, in in the campaign that I'm playing uh, with him, um, the, 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 the Don the sent in his to, carrier pigeon to recruit to butter up Christy Winters. Oh, it doesn't doesn't end well. We'll see as it goes along. Alone. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, don't get wrong; it's a lot of fun. But I tell you, it's a hell of a stressful thing to have to DM. Oh, right. Yeah, well, you know, um, I, uh, yeah, we had that uh, hangout with uh, D&D last night, but the, mm. earlier than that, I was watching his video uh, on some of the dramas happening on the right side, uh, you know, of YouTube, you Ooh, guys uh, over there. And uh, he brought up the fact that he had taken down the Skeptic Feminist live feed because he, mm. now looking back on it. All right, I'm going to try to jump ahead a little bit to when it starts getting a little bit spicier. I believe it's about 20 minutes in, so let's see. It's uh, been going for an hour and seven minutes. Uh, so... Far left is on the rise in the Democratic Party. I mean, I don't even know this is irrelevant. Yeah, yeah burden, I have my stuff burden of evidence, motherfucker. <laughs> Come on. Pedantic, Christy? No, it's not pedantic for to ask you if you're going to make a claim to back it up. I mean, do you think that, like, do you think I've got a sheet of notes in front of me? Well, I have my references to go. Oh, right oh Carl, sorry, sorry, mate. If you make if you make a fucking a, a claim, you need to provide evidence for that. The fact that we know you haven't done any fucking preparation for this is irrelevant. <laughs> you disagree that a bunch of justice Democrats have been elected. And no, Seven well, or eight is not a bunch, is it? Out of yeah, 220 it's right of young Turks, So you obviously it's have to... Really, I, I, I would have to check this, because I haven't been following it that closely. I've had other things to do. But weren't a bunch of corporate Democrats also unseated at the same time? Yeah, again... What yeah, but a number got in. So, I mean... I, I, I don't know the court, okay, Christy, just, uh, just uh, stop you there, right? You seem to be getting a little excited. No, I'm amused. <laughs> Okay, that's that's fine, right? But my, what I'm going to say, right, and I, I want you to take this seriously, no matter how amusing you find it, right? 
if you can't be charitable with what I'm saying, then I just won't bother having a conversation with you. I don't. Oh, well, I'm surprised, Carl. I'm surprised you decided to have this conversation say, anyway, I because I because can't because she can't be charitable. Can't be charitable. No, no, because last time you took you took her on in debate, she fucking annihilated you. <laughs> she made you look a right to her. Things change. So, I love the fact that he asked them to come on their show, and then says, "If you can't treat me nicely, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this." Like he's doing them a favor. But I I, the, I, I promise you, the good parts are coming up uh, when they start talking about V being a carrier pigeon, and when Christy starts laughing at him and he nearly rage quits. So let's let's wait for that to come up um here's the thing you said that well, things change yeah, you've done even less preparation for this one this is a conversation if you want to have a conversation like that you're gonna to have to do it with someone else i'm not really that interested in having that conversation in having a conversation where we accurately discuss which members of congress could be called justice democrats which is a term you used and brought up yeah i don't know what you mean by that you named one person and I don't know who you mean by Justice Democrats. Well, then maybe you'll have to go after the stream. Well, I don't know why I should take your word that there are seven or eight. Well, there could I don't be care if you take my word for it. There could be 12. I'm not bothered if you take my word for it. <laughs> I don't care about your moral outrage, Carl. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just not going to have a pedantic conversation. It's in character. The conversation is not pedantry. <laughs> I think it is. I was if wondering I think, how if a regular person would watch this and think, why is she being so obstructionist? She already accepts his premise. She just wants to continue pushing it. So okay. why don't we just... Okay, so let's know what the one Justice Democrat you know about. And one got elected out of over 225, maybe 230. Yeah, then the Dems are going to pick up 30 seats. So what does that say that one person you could name got elected? Well, it's not just one person, is it, Christy? But you can't show that. I can. I'm just not going to. <laughs> You need to educate yourself, Christy. Okay, it's not his job to provide citations and facts. Wasn't he on a stream with me a day or two ago where he was up my ass about having citations? And I was walking into Christy's stream and he's like, I can't name anybody, but I, I do know this information. I'm just not going to share it with you. You need to you need to go dig for it yourself. Looking good. <laughs> Master debate tactics. <laughs> Wait, does it involve typing? You're a scientist, Carl. Yeah. I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm not a scientist at all. I'm, I'm, I'm not even qualified, you fools. I'm here to just have a chat about these things with you. I didn't realize that you would need to be confrontational. Okay, so I would have something instead. Should we look at the exit polls, Carl? Should we look at the exit polls and see how they bear out? So, uh, do you want to put a link in the description? Uh, I can just show it on screen if you'd like. Well, I'd like you to put a link in the description as well. Sorry. All right. So I also I have to say. Right, so you want us to show our sources, but you're not going to bother showing anything from yours. I have to say, I was wondering how desperate you were. About what? You know, just going to slum here on the happy hour, 70 or 80 views. And your desperation to have a fight is so hilarious to me, Carl, because especially like you've just been, I want to say, you've been a source of so much mirth on the happy hour for the last few months. Do you think it might be a bit of projection? Because I actually didn't realize you were going to be here, Christy. I thought I was having a nice chat with Kevin. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's called the Christy and Kevin's happy hour. Well, I, I didn't realize that we were doing happy hour. I just thought I was having a chat with Kev. So wait, he didn't realize he was going on Christy Winter's channel on the show called Christy and Kev's happy hour. That that escaped him. He didn't, he didn't realize. I also like how she's just straight out calling him out. You're desperate, Carl. You're trying to go back to the well, Carl. We know why you're here. And it's just not working out. Oh, oh why would you do this, Sargon? No, you, well, you sent your little you sent your little manservant, your little fucking carrier pigeon I, boy, I your little milk-fed gimp. You sent him to both me and Christy. So yeah, you clearly... I did not. Absolutely did not. I said, please ask Kev if he can have me on a show because I'd like to talk to Kev. I didn't say anything about Chris. Oh, you wanted to be on Let Them Eat Cack. Well, you wanted to do a show with me and Mike. Oh, gosh, you should have been more specific. Yeah. Okay, Christy. Um, <laughs> by the way, by your little milk-fed gimp. Oh, oh, V. Oh, you're getting shit on everywhere, aren't you? Oh, your little Romanian carrier pigeon. Just sending them out, fluttering about, <laughs> shitting on everything, every pedestrian underneath. By the way, uh, no, Sargon. I'm interested in having a proper conversation. I don't know. You are having a proper conversation, except you make claims that you can't talk. So let's limit it to the things that you can actually claim to know, like one woman's name that got a person on earth that would say this is a good faith conversation? <laughs> sure, Carl. 
<laughs> so I, I just want to know how desperate do you, do you think there are. Who, who do you think would say this now, is? Oh, I think it's entirely good faith. I have no. <laughs> Asking you to be able to name people that you claim are justice Democrats. Yeah, yeah this, this is order. about excessive pedantry, Christy. No, it's not. It it's all being accurate because it might be 11. I, I don't Or it might be three. We don't know. You can only name one. I would like to actually have a nice conversation. Um, but if you don't, I don't. You're going to take your ball and go home, Charles. It's because we're asking you to back up what you say. Carl, didn't you didn't you react really badly when Thomas Smith got up and left? Aren't, aren't you now doing the same thing here? Okay, I'm happy to just leave. Limit your claims to uh, the one woman you can name, uh, and then we'll go on. Really and then you can show about this big like, reference. Yeah, to be honest, don't you guys have like something more interesting you'd like to talk about? Oh, that's another tried and true sargonism. If he can't. If he can't name a source, if he can't talk about the subject, he wants to move on to something else. He asks to come on. He gets angry because he doesn't have any idea what he's talking about. They call him out on his desperation, make fun of his manservant, V, by calling him a... What did he call him? A milk-fed gimp? And then Sargon's like, fuck it, I'm going to leave. And Kevin Logan calls him out and says, didn't you get upset when somebody did that to you? And he's like, no, I'm going to take my ball and go home. Yeah, we can talk about the exit polls and look at all the people voting for the Democrats you want okay go on then well there's the link in the chat okay there's another good so moment i, I want to try to find this, this where uh he gets he gets so angry he just mutes himself for like two minutes no they split for the democrats and then how do you feel about your you um, who do you think the dems will run um little milk you about game. 2020 at the end of the show Carl. do you want to talk do you talk about the midterms that's what you said to v you wanted to talk about <laughs> yeah, next next time, make it make make your little manservant more aware of what the fuck you actually want to talk about and who you want to talk to. Yeah, the name of the video is kind of the midterm results, so that's that's what we came prepared to talk about. Although maybe maybe we're expecting too much of his little. We can talk about game. 2020 at the end of the show, Carl. We can do that. Can but Carl, can I just can I just ask you, mate? Given the given the numbers there on the screen about the youth vote, how do you feel about your youth outreach program? I mean, because it seems to be going really well. Yeah. Um, He's trying to get him in with Gamergate 2.0, Kevin. That's how he's going to bring yeah, yeah. in the youth vote. And, and, and with gamers rise up. Oh, bottom text, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's making fun of him for Gamergate 2. You keep soaring into 3% in the polls in Britain. You're doing exceptionally well. Oof. <laughs> 3%, How you mate. You might, you might pick up no seats again. It's only a matter of <laughs> Yeah, you've got a base to build from at 3 fucking percent. Yeah, but what do you think will happen after Theresa May severely fucks Brexit? <sighs> oh, sorry, we um, didn't come here to discuss I, this. Well, I'm, 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 Kev, Kev, we didn't come here to discuss this. Let's get back to Norway, mate. So oh, I don't know. Let's, let's get back to well, You don't know what you wanted to fucking talk about. You told, you told your little I fucking... I've been told. Them. You. So let's do one. Okay, so we'll get back to this. So we've got the gender gap, Carl. We've got the age t demographics. So what are your thoughts there in terms of your thesis that the left are dying? Where people become older and become more. Asian, um, oh, of Catholic countries. In Florida? I mean, minority groups. And, and you think that that means... I'm not trying to repeal voter ID law. Yeah. You, won you won the uh, the college by a land. I I I totally agree with you, Christy. I think the left are going to storm the president, but that's not. Here we go. The definition. I'll stop sharing now. Uh, I'm almost there. I think. I, I it's hard to timestamp it when it's live, so we'll see if we so can get what, to it. What do you think about that? Do you think? Tell me what I believe. Is that what you're saying? Well, I know you want to get off the topic of the midterm elections because the Democrats won, but that's what we're here to talk about. So the, I think we should get back to you. I agree. The Democrats, the, the Democrats oh, scrape by the skin of their teeth. Getting the uh, power of investigation now in the House. What are your thoughts on investigations of Trump and his family members going forward? Go wild. Something that's important. Like, as a liberalist and someone who's in, in, you know, about making sure the laws are correct and followed properly, right, for the fair rule of all, law to all, right, I think that's something you really should look into because it's it's a very big constitution. I'll, I'll take that under advisement, Christy, but I determine what schedule, so. Well, I'm just saying, as a liberalist, this is a perfect that's fascinating. for you to that's really interesting. But I'll, I'll determine what I look into and what I don't. <laughs> okay, so what do you think? Correctly, you actually have people email you articles, and that's how you decide what goes into your show. So you don't really pick out what you decide. You have people send it to you. <laughs> yeah, look, Christy, he will decide which headlines he reads and then claims that's to read the full story. That's oh, this is fucking painful. They're just shitting on him nonstop, making fun of Gamergate 2, mocking liberalistisms, uh, talking about just reading headlines. 
it just goes on and on. And I, th- I think this is a part where he almost rage quits. That's, how it that's exactly how it works. Yeah, um, justice Democrats. He's I, so, I, really really what far right is. I, I would have thought it'd be fairly easy for a political scientist like yourself to do that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm an amateur. I'm looking to find out because I genuinely don't know. I genuinely want to know what are the criteria that make someone far right. Well, let's have a little lesson here, Carl. Get out your Google machine, and I want you to type in "far right definition" yeah. in Google. We're going to look at it together. I haven't found a good one, but you're the political no, scientist. No, 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 no. This is it. We're going to look it up together. So you go on then. No, no, you go on. No, it's your I'm question. You. I'm mm-hmm. you how, after the show, you're going to how to do this. Say, look, I'm not going to answer. That's fine. <laughs> If you don't have an answer, that's okay. If you, have an answer, uh, who you vote for, that's interesting. If you don't have an ideological framework that is far, you know, to define the far right, that's fine as well. That's okay. I don't, I don't begrudge you. It seems like no one knows. I, I know you prefer to make things up, but I prefer to look things up. Chris, why didn't you just tell me what your opinion is? I don't no, see, I'm not, see, this is the thing you like to do, Carl, is you like to ask questions, and then when people try to get you to answer, you ask more questions. I, I'm more than happy to answer. I've just answered a slew of your questions. Oh, shut, shut, up, shut up, shut up. Shut up, shut up. If you guys want to be childish about it, I think we need to come and have a conversation. This is, um, Carl, we're using your tactics against you. Exactly. You at the bar. What you do? <laughs> Now they're mark or they're they're mocking his appearance at uh, is it MythCon or whatever that event was in Wisconsin, when he was up on stage debating the guy that he was debating, uh, he kind of freaked out a little bit and started screaming "shut up" at him repeatedly because the guy was asking him questions. So now I guess they're uh, they're giving him a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> then I'm happy for you. To <laughs> oh, we just did what you did live on stage. So the fact that you're describing it in that way, you're describing yourself in that way. Oh, I don't care about your moral outrage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is, this is amazing. I'm so glad we did this. <laughs> Carl, are you still there? Carl got? Oh, I hope he picks up his marbles and goes home. Oh, no, amazing. <laughs> if he couldn't even make an hour. He was there for 30 minutes and they mocked him relentlessly the entire time to the point of where he just, he muted himself in fucking rage, but he won't leave because he doesn't want to give them a win. So he's just sitting there taking their shit in silence for like two fucking minutes. He's making more sense now. He's making fewer stupid points. (laughs) Well, at least he's not trying to reverse this into an interrogation when he just wanted to have a chat. (laughs) But look at all of the Justice Democrats, like that one person. That one person I can name. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I like the fact that one of his defences was, I haven't prepared for this. <laughs> that thing about V, and um, and it didn't mean... Uh, are we ready to have a discussion now? <laughs> he wasn't Where did you go? Where did you go, Carl? We, 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 we were on a timeout. <laughs> no, I you're going to waste my time, I'll waste your time. What's wrong with that? Oh, we we that time. We had a great <laughs> not fair talk, <laughs> Steve. Oh, this gets better and better. Oh, oh. the full. You know, not wasting that time. It's far less than a bunch of questions about Trump and me again. Uh, uh, you want to answer questions about your left wing, how the left are dying? I tell us what your insight. Oh, Chris, when did I say that? The left is dying at the start of the show. Yeah, that's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we didn't give you enough. Oh, to down your throat with the Justice Democrats. You go on. You go. 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 No, I'm. I'm waiting for you to tell me what the far right is, Chris. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what my opinion on the far right is when I can go look. It's going to be a slow conversation then. Yeah, it's going to be a slow conversation if I'm not going to play the games on your terms. And same here. <laughs> I can't help but feel that having you on. You're terrible at the playing these power games. You're really <laughs> a slow conversation. <laughs> you, you, you understand how many people tell me about you. Oh, do you know the people that are talking about you, Christy? Do you understand? Okay. Now, he brings up power games. Um, well, you know, there's an example of a power game I want to show you uh, that just that happened just recently. Uh, if you don't know, Sargon got a chance to go onto Andy Worski's stream, and they were going to hash things out. So let me let me pull that out. It's a great interview. It's a really great conversation. Andy really, really outdid himself. Uh, you know... <laughs> Having that deep, deep conversation with Carl. So let me let me just cue this bad boy up, and uh, we'll we'll give that a listen. Hold on one sec. Uh, hang on, just one second. Let me just get my uh, my drink here. I'm just have a little sip here. One second. 
Here we go. This is uh, Andy Worski interviewing Sargon of Akkadi. Invited him. Sargon demanded to come on a show, so he invited him on. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I'll bring him in. All righty. Hello? Hello. Suck a fucking dick, Sargon. Eat sound, shit, uh, faggot. That was our interview with Sargon of Akkad. There, uh, that was, uh, I, I, I think it went well. We, we all enjoyed it. it. Yeah, I think so. Do you think, I think it was it good? It was a stunning success. It was probably like the most honest. professional. It was probably the most honest we've ever heard him. Fantastic interview. I, I give that a thumbs up. I think Andy did a great job on that particular, on that particular interview. All right, I know we got a little distracted with the Christy Winters thing, a little distracted. But Sargon did not do, did not do so well in that particular instance. Christy kind of just curb stomped his ass as Kevin laughed at him, and he got so mad he muted himself in silence to try to do a power game or something. I don't know. He tried that with Andy demanding to come on and then making Andy wait for a half an hour. And so Andy finally invited him on and told him to suck a dick and threw him off his stream. Lots of crazy shit going on this week. Let's go over some of it. I <laughs> take a look at it. You know, I, I want to go back to basics. I want to talk about some stuff that's already happened that I think kind of helps to paint what's going on right now. Because it's been a crazy couple of weeks. Uh, for those of you unfamiliar, uh, the Ralph Retort, which hosts the Kill Stream, was banned off of YouTube. Uh, they were banned off of YouTube, and the charity stream they did had all the money refunded to the people that donated. Uh, this was a result of the Wall Street Journal contacting YouTube and St. Jude's, the charity that the uh, Killstream was using, and trying to get comment for a story they were going to run, uh, which resulted in Ralph losing his channel and the money being returned to the people that gave it. Now, Ralph moved over to stream.me, so, I mean, he's fine. His show's still, still going on. But, it, you know, it kind of set into motion a bunch of really weird events that have been going on for about the last week and a half to two weeks. And before we get into that and really kind of talk about the key players that are a part of it, I wanted to go over a little bit of history. Just a, a tiny bit of history. So let's, let's start back. Where did I put all this shit? Let's start back at the beginning with a girl named Rage after. Yeah, let's, let's start with Rage. Uh, and you know what? And uh, let's not forget the counterpart, our little crowd. So a long time ago on on YouTube and on Twitter, as V likes to say, uh, Rage uh, ran into a bit of an issue. Um, somebody had tagged in, a, you know, uh, somebody that she associated with, her employer, essentially, even though it was volunteer work. You can quibble over the details on that. But they had tagged them in to draw attention to some of the things that she had said on YouTube. And it was a pretty blatant attempt by that person to have her lose her position, at, you know, what she was doing. That person would be Crouton T. Now, a lot of people have speculated as to why he targeted Rage, uh, what, what the prime motivator was. Some people have said that it was because she refused to date somebody in the skeptic circle. Other people have different theories. But nonetheless, Rage got targeted. And that kind of started a sequence of events where Kraut lost his fucking mind. Now, I know we have the theory that David should read. I'm sorry, I shouldn't dead name. Davina is responsible for the war on the alt-right. But as for Kraut's part and why he would begin to participate, I believe it really started here. He started to get a lot of pushback from people in the alt-right and just different internet circles thinking what he did was a dick move. Uh, he even apologized for it, saying that he shouldn't have done it. Now, he's since gone back on that. He's gone back and forth on a lot of things, to be honest. But nonetheless, the, his initial reaction after being confronted was to apologize. Now, fast forward, and a gay Discord op is afoot. And Kraut is front and center. He's in the middle of it all. He's in the middle of it all with a lot of people whose names now have become associated with it. People like David Shitrat, Jeff Holliday, Waz Lee, lots of people. All took part in the gay Discord ops. And those gay Discord ops were targeting because they did have a target list before they renamed it Persons of Interest, people in the alt-right and on right-wing politics. This all kind of culminated, you know, the, uh, the finale to this little arc kind of culminated with them going after somebody named uh, CRP, Coach Red Pill. Now, if you've watched the Tales of Trout, I kind of outline all of this, so this is just a kind of a touch-base thing. We're just kind of 
touching base on it, a little refresher course before we get into the sequence of events over the last couple of weeks. Now, Kraut has been doing a PR tour as of late, where he's gone around saying that he's innocent. He's proclaiming his innocence, saying that he did nothing wrong. There was no doxing that took place, they didn't target anybody, everything was completely above board. And yet, when you look at his initial reaction, again, much like the rage incident where he contacted her, you know, quote-unquote, employer, he tells a different story. His initial reaction is, you know, more honest, at least in my opinion. Uh, this is a conversation I believe he had with JF via Twitter or Skype, whatever the platform was. Uh, you know, I took it too personal from the start. Uh, this is Kraut speaking. Have a happy Christmas. I gathered the docs of Coach Red Pill. I gave him to the Guardian because I thought you would defend him. Don't be too rough on those who worked with me. I don't know if I will come back. All the best to whatever you plan. And if you remember from the videos and, the, you know, the events that took place, uh, these docs, this information was gathered up in the server. It was uh, transferred between a couple of different people, interme or intermediaries, and wound up on Kiwi Farms. And eventually, Sargon of Akkad made a video using that information which is something that Kraut was aiming for. Now, Sargon disavowed Kraut. In fact, uh, you can actually hear this in the beginning, and we're going we're gonna to listen to a clip of this. I bookmarked it. Uh, the audio is up on YouTube. Let me see if I can find it. Real quick, guys, real quick. Okay. I'll put this up on screen in a second here. Uh, what you're going to hear, this, isn't, uh, this is not the conversation that Kraut had with Sargon. That, that's one conversation where Sargon recorded it. Uh, this is a conversation that Kraut is having with Jeff Holiday and others in the Discord server talking about Sargon's reaction to what Kraut is doing. So let's listen to what he has to say. Uh, let me let me put this up on full screen. Uh, where is it here? Oh, got to get rid of this. All right. And I believe we want about halfway through, if I remember where the time code is. We'll start at 242, uh, but let's give it a listen. It says is that if things... Uh, are construed to be tactics of the SJWs. It looks true, bad on true. anyone, and nobody wins. I true, think yeah, true. Kraut, you need to let him know that any information that you gathered on Coach Red Pill was a background check on his credentials and who he is as a person. That is all. It wasn't meant yeah. for tactics to be used against him in a SJW way. It was to verify his credibility as yeah, as, the, as, 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 a, as somebody who speaks Jeff, in that field Jeff, of expertise. Jeff, 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 Jeff. <laughs> The data I gathered on Coach Redfield is now being used against me, essentially. They think what do you I, mean? That's the thing. Like The first thing he brought up, why are you gathering private information, like, for example, on Coach Redfield? It's not private information. And here's the thing. He, 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 he claims I've been doing the same with Ryan Falk, etc., etc., that I'm gathering private data. And What's private about Twitter. Ryan Falk? I can yeah, Google Brian every, 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 I have to tell you something, Jeff. I, I shared the things that I got on Coach Redpill with Sargon of Akkad. Okay. So Sargon's initial reaction was not a positive one to what Kraut was doing. And Kraut shared the information with Sargon. Now, Sargon didn't learn this from a third-party source. Uh, Kraut shared it with him. We'll get back to that later. Uh, so there's a, a disavowal from Sargon. He says, "I, you know, this is you're acting like an SJW. You're gaining, you're gathering all this information. You can even hear Kraut in that clip say the data I gathered, just like that message that he had with JF, the I doxed Coach Redpill. I gathered that information. So he's he's openly admitting it. This led to uh, its own little arc where Kraut basically tried to go after these people. It blew up in his face in a spectacular manner. Uh, he left the internet." But the two takeaways from those events are that Kraut tried to run somebody off the internet. Um, Jeff Holiday, even and there's a clip out there, maybe I can find it later for the stream, I'm not sure, where Jeff said, yeah, we bullied Rage, he's referring to Rage, we bullied her off of the internet. And he didn't regret it, he was happy about it. In fact, I think I have that clip included in the Tales of Trout's videos. We're, we're glad that we got her off the internet, we're glad we bullied her, that's his phrasing, essentially. So they, they push people off, they deplatform people, and they gather information, background check my ass. We needed a background check on a YouTuber? For what? You're watching fucking YouTube videos. What do you mean you need a background check on some fucking asshole making YouTube videos? It's really bizarre. But doxing and deplatforming, 
Now, Kraut can change his mind later on. He can say that he did things differently. He can try to pull the wool over people's eyes. He can say that the Discord server was doing its own thing, but there are screen caps out there where he's talking to David Sherratt and others about trying to pass the information along to SJWs who can do something with it. And even Shitrat himself said in those screen caps, uh, I'm not going to do something like that. He, he disavowed him and said he wasn't going to do something like that. But this is a skeptic, you know, deplatforming and doxing people. So that kind of brings us up to the present. So what's going on? So Ralph gets deplatformed. Here's the Wall Street Journal. It's coming in to take him out. Uh, they get him off of YouTube. Uh, they get him off of, uh, you know, they get the money refunded. I think his PayPal has been closed as well. I mean, he's getting hit all over the place. Um, or no, his Streamlabs. His Streamlabs were what get uh, nailed in this particular instance. And so he moves over to Stream.me. <clears throat> now, while this is going on, while uh, Ralph is under fire from the Wall Street Journal, other interesting things are taking place with myself and Andy Worski. So we're going to take a look at them. And I just want you to see if you can draw any parallels between the shit that Kraut used to do and what you're going to be witnessing and what we're going to be going over. Again, trying to fuck with people and get them deplatformed and doxing people. So uh, let's start. I'm not, I'm not sure how we want to start this. You know, we'll start with Andy Worski. Why not? Now, V. Monroe, uh, as uh, Kevin Logan put it, his milk-fed gimp, uh, was the one that uh, started tweeting out recently, uh, three or four days ago, talking about how Sargon had another Twitter account. And in fact, this is, this is confirmed by, you know, Sargon himself. We'll play the clip so you can take a look at yourself. <clears throat> uh, and just give me one moment here. i got to pull this up. Hopefully, you're, hopefully your Sunday's going well, chat. All right, here we go. So, uh, V. Monroe is talking and he says essentially, hey, this is uh, Sargon's Twitter account and it's at Backworldsman1. So, let's go see what, uh, what Sargon is doing on Twitter. I wonder what, what Sargon's up to. This would be, this would be the account. Uh, you can see Mr. Antibully has screen capped it for us. Here's the picture itself, uh, enhanced and brought up. And you can see on the timeline, uh, this was retweeted by this account from November 2nd. And this is what uh, he retweeted. Uh, While wow, it appears the latest Andy Worski live stream featuring the charming at the Ralph retort had some lovely donations via YouTube super chat system. I have no idea why. Uh, and this is at Wall Street Journal would investigate the crowd of lovable scams. Sure hope the FBI doesn't catch wind, though. Party poopers. So in the midst of the Ralph retort being driven off of YouTube as a platform, being made to go over to stream me, having all his monetization ripped from him, getting his shit smeared in the press, here's Sargon of Akkad on an alternate Twitter account that he himself is verified, that V is verified, retweeting somebody who's screen capping evidence of outrageous super chats and trying to send that to the Wall Street Journal. All right, they're, they're taking in the Wall Street Journal while this is all going on. Hey, look at what's going on at Andy Worski's chat. He associates with the Ralph retort. Be a real shame if somebody took a look at this evidence and maybe incorporated it in another article. Be a shame if somebody did some follow-up with this. Now, just to uh, verify that this is, in fact, Sargon of Akkad, uh, this is from a live stream he did where he, he basically says, yeah, that's me. Am I still on Twitter? Yeah, at back, Backworldsman1, if you can find it. And Are you it's just what is that? It's just a shit. Is that publicly you? I thought you were well, trying to do that. Oh, sure. sure. It's a Twitter account with 100 followers. If it gets tanked, I'll just create another one and then ship yeah. using that. What, what's the um? What's the URL? Uh, Backworldsman one. So it's it's fairly cut and dry. I mean, uh, he's admitting it. This is my alternate account. Uh, V's you know following up saying, yeah, that's Sargon, and here he is retweeting something that's essentially taking shots at somebody. And maybe fucking with them. Maybe taking away their livelihood. Yes, Chad, he is a snake. Now, this is a really weird angle, because Ralph Retort got taken down via the Super Chats and what was going on in his chat. Here's Sargon retweeting somebody trying to do that to Andy Worski. Well, it wasn't just Ralph, and it wasn't just Andy Worski that had this weird shit come up with Super Chats. Over the course of uh, the last couple of days, the quartering, quarter pounder, one of the Don's capos, began to contact me on Twitter. 
And he went on this long tirade saying, Jim, you're afraid to stream. You're afraid of your audience. You're afraid of the super chats. You need to, uh, you need to stream right now. And then he started making really bizarre comments. And I, I'm going to share one of them with you that happened to be screen capped. He deleted a lot of these uh, the very next day because he didn't like the reaction that he was getting. And we'll take a look at the stream that I did with him as well. But uh, let, me, let me pull this up from the quartering. I believe I have it saved here. I gotta find it. Hold on one moment. I should be more prepared, but I'm just so goddamn, I'm just so goddamn lazy, chat. I can't, I can't help myself. You know what? While I'm looking for this, I'm gonna give you a pretty picture to look at. <laughs> do you guys like uh, Star Wars? Do you do you like Star Wars? Short fat Ataku loves Star Wars. He cosplays every year as a Star Wars character. Can you guess which one? Take a look at that. That's beautiful. It's beautiful and bold. It's lovely. It's very brave. It's very brave. It's a great fucking outfit. He looks like he fits right in. Fits right in there. Good job. Okay, here we go. Pull that down. I don't want to burn your retinas by looking at Tubby there. All right, this is what um, he had sent. This is one of the things that he'd sent after repeatedly trying to goad me into streaming. While, you know, and again, remember, Ralph got taken down for Super Chats. Apparently, Sargon is retweeting people trying to get a hold of the Wall Street Journal with screen caps about Andy Worski's stream to try to get him targeted. And now here's the quartering, another one of their little group, who's sending out shit like this. Uh, this was the quartering on the left-hand side. You can say, uh, you know, quartering's like, you need to stream, you need to stream, you need to stream. And then when I finally address him and say, well, you know, I'll come on stream with you, he says, sounds good. Let me know when you're live so I can get my 1488 Super Chats ready. And this is something he had done the entire fucking evening. It's just, it's really bizarre. It's really bizarre that all of the, you know, this entire group of people are all doing the same thing. They're trying to use an avenue to get people deplatformed. And I think that's fairly out there. And I think that's fairly obvious if you look at it. Now, Sargon can say, well, it's just a joke. I'm just joking, taking in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, the quartering's just joking, saying he's going to do 1488. Until, you know, the quartering sobers up the next day and deeply regrets what he did uh, for, I don't know, blowing the gay ops, maybe? I'm not sure exactly why the quartering changed his mind, but deletes deletes all of those things. Oh, let, me, let me see if I can find it. Now, this sentiment about getting people banned for what chat says is not something new. Sargon was talking about this very same thing a long time ago, at the very beginning of the year, when he went on stream with Andrew Anglin. Uh, listen to the voice clip. Let's listen to what he had to say about getting people banned for spamming things and how they deserve it. If the, seriously, if the alt right like would stop attacking people, you it wouldn't have to be done. Relevant, but, and now we're like the boogeyman. Like, well, like no, you, you like, are in a, in a, in a, in a no, no, listen, snake. listen in but a, in a to, conceptual okay. way. You are irrelevant. But when you're spamming chats with Nazi memes, then you then need to be banned from the you, service for anyone to do. Well, if you guys are going to put that in the chat, then I guess you you have to be dealt with. You're just a bunch of bullies. You're a bunch of mean people putting that kind of stuff in chat. Maybe you deserve to be deplatformed. And now you fast forward to today, and Ralph's been kicked off. Andy Worski's being targeted. Quartering's trying to goad me into streaming so he can 1488 chat me. Now, I went out of the stream with, uh, with uh, the quartering. We ended up having a conversation. I'll play a few highlights here. Let me pull that up. But I had to be snuck into it. See, the quartering ran his mouth for the entire evening about how he wanted to have a stream with me. And then he openly invited me to come and actually stream with him and then tried to pretend that he never did that. So Keemstar uh, ended up having to sneak me into this fucking guy's uh, stream so I could actually talk to him because otherwise it was never going to happen. Just pull this up here. Uh, just give me one moment. I, I have one that has timestamps, hopefully. Okay, here we go. I think this is it. I'm doing Surprise, great. Bitch. Oh, how are you, how are you doing there? How are you doing there? Soulplay? How's it going? Oh, I'm doing great. How come we're not on your channel? Oh, because you're the one that invited me over here, remember? I've got a screen cap. I've got a clip up on my Twitter timeline where he said, if Jim wants to come on, he's invited to come on. So here I am. 
Oh, yeah, but why aren't we on your channel, Jim? You can go to my Twitter timeline right now, retard, and you can see the invite that you openly said at the start of your stream. Yeah, but why why, Jim, why aren't we on Uncle your stream? Jim, Uncle Jim can come on my stream. Well, here I am. Okay, well, you snuck in. I appreciate you. I appreciate Keem sharing the Well, I guess I, I had to sneak in because, you know, that's the only way to get in. You you like to say public things, but then, you know, privately, you're too much of a pussy to do what you say you're going to do. Oh, well, that's like, not true at all, like, Keem. Jim I, is I, welcome, Jim no, is welcome you, on my stream, but you never sent the invite, did you? You never sent it because you're a pussy. I've been waiting for hours for you to fire up a stream on your giant, channel, Jim. You are a giant vagina. You are oh, a giant Jimmy. Pussy. Jim, I'm sure you, I, I know you want a lot of friends, but I mean, I'm telling you, I, I just wanted to come on your channel for once. One of the big successful I, I, YouTube channels. Did, oh, come, did you? Did you want yeah. to come on my channel? Were you, did you want some attention? Yeah, I definitely did. I wanted all, I wanted all the attention that, that your channel brings. So oh, why, why, well, why well, I mean, you? I, is I'm it Monday Matt? It's Monday I'm coming, Monday I'm coming here for the big, show. Here for the big show quartering. All 2,700. Oof, it's a big fucking number. You're a big boy. Yeah, We're on a but, big stream with but Jeremy Jim, right now. Is is uh is Monday Matt stream right now, or are you getting DDoS? Are you not getting DDoS right now? Oh, God, you are handicapped, aren't you? You understand that I was... Now, over the course of our conversation, if you want to watch the whole clip, it's up on there. It's about 25 minutes. But during the course of the conversation, Quartering tries to play innocent. He's like, I never said any of this. I never said that I was going to send you outrageous super chats to get you fucked over. Uh, I never encourage people to go do that to try to get your channel fucked over. Really suspect, really suspect that all these skeptics are doing the same thing. That we've got a sound clip of Sargon talking about, oh, well, if you're going to spam this shit in chat, maybe you should be taken care of. That uh, Ralph gets targeted. That there's Sargon retweeting somebody trying to get a hold of the Wall Street Journal to deplatform Andy Worski. That the quartering's trying to egg people into doing streams so he can send 1488 super chats at them. And then pretend that he's, I'm just Josh and I'm just joking around. Oh, he also got very angry when somebody did that to him. He flipped the fuck out. He spent the whole evening telling people he was going to send 1488 and all this other shit through Super Chat. And then somebody did that to his stream. He immediately shut it down. He deleted it. And then he went on a tirade on Twitter bitching about it, saying that he was being targeted for harassment by the Sweetie Squad. Uh, I, I think that's more poetic justice, Jeremy. That if you're going to go around saying you're going to do shit to people and then they end up doing it to you... That's poetic justice. That's not targeted harassment. That's you telling people you want to fuck with somebody and deplatform them, and then having that shoved right down your throat. Just right down your throat. Now, Sargon ended up um, going on to the kill stream. This is all going on. This is in the span of a few days. People find out that's his account, that he's retweeting that shit. Jeremy's doing this weird shit where he's trying to get people to stream so he can send through super chats. And, you know, Andy Worski and Ralph uh, are angry because they feel like uh, these people are fucking with them. So uh, Sargon goes on to the kill stream. And we're going to listen to a few select clips of that. And uh, you, you can tell me what you think. Because I think Sargon was pretty, pretty open about his intentions on why he was retweeting that shit. So give me a moment to pull that up and we will go, we will go give it a listen. I really need, like, elevator music. I need some nice waiting music that I can play in the background while all this is going on. I believe this one is it. Now I've got to no, they were there for the ten Okay. Now I, I think we'll start at this uh, I believe it's right around here. Let's give it a listen. It would make more sense like, for it to be I mean I mean you ask him so no, no, but Ralph, like I look, I'm not I'm honestly not trying to be a dick, right? But I don't see what you do as being anything that I would care about. I mean, you're here on the show right now. Yeah, but that's only because V's and like telling me, look, you should do this because they're, they're saying you got the Wall Street Journal to do something. And I'm like, okay, well, what's their proof? A retweet after the event. It's like, okay, that's done. Well, why did you retweet that? Because it's funny. Because Okay. And before he goes into this, we'll listen to his explanation. But uh, after the event, he's he's talking about Ralph getting fucked with. I'd like to state Andy Worski wasn't targeted. He didn't get deplatformed. And Sargon wasn't tweeting the Wall Street Journal about the Ralph retort. That tweet that went out was targeting Andy Worski and Andy Worski's super chat on his own channel. It had nothing to do with the charity stream. Just uh, want to make that clear. Fuck you, Ralph. That's why. Was it funny? Yeah, to me. It's funny. You. It's funny to try to 
you know, yeah, get people s- to sick, sick them on Andy? That's yeah, what the tweet yeah, was trying to do. It was funny to spread that around? Why is that funny? Noggin, so noggin. we were already taken down. Why is it funny to try to take his channel down? Fuck yeah. Okay, well, your kid dying was fucking funny. How about that? Now you want wonder why I say fuck yeah. Well, I didn't say that until you said shit like that. <laughs> okay, Ralph. I never once, I never once made yeah, those jokes, even though they were there else. for the taking. No, never any God damn it. That would be uh, Keemstar leaving. Got a little too hot for Keemstar. Had to do a disavowal and exit the stream uh, after the hot banter of Sargon's child dying. Uh, one of the interesting things to take note, especially with that, is he's using retroactive justification. Sargon is saying, well, I did that because you've now made fun of me. Well, is he Marty McFly? Is this back to the fucking future? Does he have a DeLorean parked outside of his fucking house? Like, did he know, you know, did Ralph make fun of him and then he time traveled back a week to target Andy Worski as his, uh, you know, mode of operation to get some revenge? No, he did that first. Try to use retroactive justification and say, well, Ralph, you're laughing at me. You're making jokes about a tragedy that I went through. That's why I did it. That makes no fucking sense. He was doing this before anybody knew that was his fucking account. He was doing this while Ralph was going through all this shit. While quartering, you know, Quarter Pounder was trying to draw me onto his stream to do 1488 Super Chats to try to get some kind of fucking reaction. He's become the shit that he used to mock. Does anybody honestly think that if Anita Sarkeesian or Zoe Quinn or Brianna Wu or any of those people had done something similar, had retweeted somebody taking in journalists and showing screen caps of something that might get Sargon in trouble or Dankula in trouble or V in trouble that he wouldn't be making video after video about it, that he wouldn't decry it as the most reprehensible thing to do. How dare you, you know, de-platform somebody? How dare you go after them? But he's fine. Fuck you, Ralph. I thought it was funny. Fuck you. I think it's funny to try to get somebody de-platformed. Now, he's been spurging out for like the last 24 hours as a result of this, trying to run what I guess are gay ops by claiming to have now another Twitter account that he went on to stream to talk about, and which V. Monroe talks about, which I'm not 100% sure he's running himself or running at all. But what I do know is he co-signed it. Now, we'll take a look at some of the shit that account's saying, because he co-signed it, he said, that's me. And V is pretty much defending what the account is saying, so we'll take a look at a few of those. But I don't know what kind of weird mental gymnastics he's going through. If he's got some kind of midlife crisis happening now, if he's having a fucking meltdown... But if you make fun of this fucking guy's suit, if you if you take shots at his dumb ideas, his fucking Gamergate 2 hashtags, if you shit on the stupid fucking stuff that piles out of his mouth, he's going to do to you whatever he can to get his petty fucking revenge. Just like Kraut did. Remember, when Kraut was in his Discord server, he was talking to journalists to target people in the alt-right. And now here's Sargon essentially doing the same thing. It's not a one-on-one conversation, but he has no problem, you know, boosting out that message. Hey, Wall Street Journal, maybe you should come take a look at Andy Worski. Hey, Wall Street Journal, maybe this is something you'd be interested in. What a piece of shit. And he's fine with it. He's absolutely fine with it. Oh, man, this guy. Oh, yeah, there was a, what was the other time? There was a, there are a couple things that he says in the stream that are fucking ridiculous. Uh, let, let me see if I can find some of these. Oh, God. Where are we here? Oh, he was like, W's from Twitter. Well, it's not, it's not you guys, it's Ralph. You, you know, yeah. to know you're a fucking snake, oh, yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. obvious what you do. Yeah. But you're better than me, so that's okay. Well... I'm not the one contacting the Wall Street Journal after making a video defending PewDiePie. I guess you just wanted those clicks. You You just wanted those clicks and those views and the money, huh? You don't really believe in shit. You just want to make money. Yeah, that is uh, another interesting point to raise. Uh, He did a video, you know, uh, they all did videos talking about how it was unjust that PewDiePie is getting targeted. The Wall Street Journal shit. You know, news outlets are shit. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And yet again, you know, after making a video like that, here he is doing it. Just out in the fucking open, just doing it. I I do not know what is going on through this fucking guy's head. Now, let me let me bring these up. I've got some of these uh, archived. I think people have been archiving this shit all day because it's just fucking weird. I don't I, I don't know if this is like some kind of troll op that he's trying to do, but he's failing at dramatically. I'm not sure what the fuck he's trying to do, to be honest with you. It's just really retarded and hard to follow. 
Uh, this is a tweet from uh, V. This is back on November 8th. Uh, that's Sargon, by the way. And he's pointing to an account called at not underscore Sargon. Now, Sargon went on stream uh, on the Kumite, I believe, and said again, yeah, that's that's me. So uh, you can you can assume that uh, he's co-signing whatever this fucking account is saying. So let's go take a look at some of the shit that uh, that he's saying on this account, shall we? Or that what he's co-signing is saying. Uh, let me pull up the archives here. In fact, I think I have one that's it should be right on the fucking front page. Uh, let's see. Okay, here's one. Here we go. From at not Sargon, I'm just notifying the FBI but about apparent threats from self-confessed pedophile Andy Worski. He appears to be planning some kind of shooting rampage. Andy Worski's a planning a shooting rampage, so let me tag in law enforcement and Andy Worski's handle. If you remember, Andy's coming to the United States to have a boxing match with Tonka. Good old Donga and him are going to fight over Superberries on January 19th of next year. And here's the account that, you know, either Sargon and V are pretending as him, they're co-signing as him, or another person's running and they think it's funny, trying to get law enforcement involved and saying there's a fucking shooting threat. Now, aren't these the fucking people that bitched and moaned for years about Gamergate meetups having bomb threats called in? Didn't MythCon have a bomb threat called in? I'm pretty sure that fucking uh, Greg, Armored Skeptic, was running around with his losing his fucking mind looking for June when the bomb threat got called in at their convention. Uh, but uh, no, it's just epic lols. It's just trolling. Super fun, guys. They think it's a laugh riot. You know, that's what they're co-signing. It's funny stuff. If he actually goes to the lengths of essentially saying it's not a big deal. Uh, he, you know, it's all fun. FBI, American Law Enforcement Canada. That, that was V's reaction. Again, these are the fucking people that'll whine about the shit happening to them. But here he is, American Law Enforcement Canada, as if they don't work together or share information together. Or if wasting the time of law enforcement by saying somebody's going to go on a fucking shooting spree might be a bad idea when the guy's flying into the country in a month and a half to box a crippled Indian. It's just, it's thing after thing with them. I don't know what this fucking account is. I don't know what Sargon's trying to prove with it. But he's, he's being retarded. It's like the stream with Christy Winters. He's going on the fucking debater and he gets his shit kicked in and he looks like a fucking retard. It's like every time they try to prove a point, he looks worse for having tried. I, I, I guess I'm dumbfounded. I, I don't know how else to put it, really. But I, I think it's becoming... I don't think it's that Sargon's acting a new way. I think the mask is slipping. I think that's really what we're witnessing. I think that he has reached the point where he's just getting angrier and angrier, and the mask is slipping a little more and more. And his attempts at trolling by, you know, taking in fucking news outlets and law enforcement and, you know, people co-signing that shit as just a... as an epic lull, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I guess he's pretending to be retarded, maybe. But uh, it's, it's fucking bizarre. It's really fucking bizarre. I, 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 these people, I guess they want to live in a situation where, what? Uh, nobody's anonymous. Uh, everybody gets fucked with and everybody gets deplatformed. Again, don't be, you know, don't, don't talk shit to Sargon. He will make you say it to his face like Ben Kuchera did back during Gamergate. Don't say, don't fucking call me disingenuous when I come here and have this kind of conversation with the actual danger this holds to my reputation, right? Fuck yourself. And if I ever see you in real life, identify yourself to me. Jeez, identify dude. yourself to me. No, no, fuck you, right? Don't call me fucking disingenuous. Just, it, it makes no sense. Now, this second account, he could write that off as just uh, one of his buddies trolling or him having a laugh. But that first one, he went to bat for. Talked about it on an unrelated stream. V verified it. And Sargon went on to the kill stream and defended that position. Yeah, fuck you, Andy Worski. I want to see you get deplatformed. Fuck you, Andy Worski. You deserve to have that happen to you. <laughs> He's fucking losing his grip on reality. Now, I know I've talked a long time. I'll, I'll read some of those super berries, because uh, apparently they, 
you know, uh, quartering is going to be sending me a 1488. So I want to make sure I read that nice and loud and clear for him. Wouldn't want him not to be able to hear it. So just give me one moment. Let me pull that up. Uh, you know what? I'll actually put this up on screen so it can be seen. Change this really quick. We'll do super chats for like five minutes, then jump back into this. Ah, there we go. So let's uh, let's take a look here. From Rick Nikeda, I'm sending you over 9,000 potatoes. Oh, actually, let me make sure my volume's going. Okay, there we're good. We're good. Puppet pal Clem Sargon's wife looked disgusting, stillborn protruding at Applebee's. Very, very disrespectful. From HTRTU, I wouldn't believe it if you were to tell me two months ago that Sargon would lose his mind over not getting ass pats about his suit while acting worse than those he criticized. And yet, here we are. Zimzam Flimflam. Imagine Sargon for a father, I'd abort myself too. From Fash Bandicoot, press S to spit on Carl's aborted fetus. From HTRTU, V is encouraging the dead body memes on Twitter. He's encouraging the drama and driving Carl insane. Maybe V got tired of Carl uh, being Carl's carrier pigeon a while ago, and he's been subtly undermining him the whole time. You know, actually, since the Super Chat brought it up, I'm going to pause right there for a second on the Super Chats. Uh, that is true. On Twitter, V was encouraging people, and like, you know, I'll just show you. I'm just going to fucking show you. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is this is on Twitter. This is V requesting abortion jokes about Sargon's laws. By the way, Ab Mr. Antibully, just curious. I had a stream where I mocked the skeptic feminist. People tell me it's the same thing like joking about Carl's dead son. So my question is, can I expect some hot jokes about dead kids this Sunday Funday? Uh, he gets a response asking, are you making a request? To which V responds, yes. Yes, he's making a request. Since Keemstar was laughing about it, and many of your fans do, I want this moment to belong to them. Share some of your top favorite memes that came out of Sargon's dead child. And I think the, the right response here was, you want me to make fun of your friend's loss? What the fuck is wrong with you? See, I'm glad it took... This is where uh, the master ops come in, I guess. See, I'm glad it took three tweets for me to make you understand why those memes are wrong. I guess I should stop now before your community hates me for giving you a moral compass and destroying their alpha troll with petty moral fagging. Uh, those people aren't his friends, V. You are. Though I don't know why, if you go around asking people uh, to do something like that, what a bizarre request. Uh, and there's good old harmful opinions. Uh, what the fuck? Are you genuinely a psychopath? He's responding to V and his request. If someone's truly your friend, why would you ever ask them to be uh, that to be done to them, even if it would benefit you personally for PR owns? And then V actually responds with this. I wonder how come Mr. Anti-Bully didn't have his noggin jogging. He usually sees this coming a mile away, but the skeptics set up a ploy to win the normies. Hot takes from the comment section. Uh, which the response was, you're using someone's dead kid to win the normies. Congrats. Finally ending with uh, him being asked, was he drunk that evening? So apparently V's all for it. V wants some dead kid memes. V wants those jokes thrown out there for the world to see. He thinks they're uh, some of the hot banter, you know, some of, the, some of the good stuff that's available on the internet. And he was outright encouraging it. Wanted me to, I guess, start the fucking show with them. Uh, not that I was interested to. Sorry, V. Not, uh, not, not that that was something that I was looking to do. Okay, uh, we got a little off topic, but I just wanted to highlight that. All right, from Nickel Narrows, even Aiden Paladin is less infertile than Lucy, LOL. Fat Gay Riker, I have your pitchers, Jim. I gave them to Soygon and Donka, now they have their pitchers too. How will you make much love sweet tea now? I'm, I'm going to have to find a way. From Spurg Meister, Sergan, you think you're more intelligent than you actually are, and that is a difficult place for you to be. From Dog Munch, Sunshine, Lollipops, and Rainbows. From Natalis Warren, I think I said your name right, Mr. Jim, much as I hate to say it, Sargon is not 100% at fault, unless there's something I don't know about that he added people. He shouldn't be put, uh, that he shouldn't have, but that's it. And he's been doing worse things. Please don't yell at me, sir. From Carl Skidmarks, Sargon's wife started a more successful movement than he ever did. Too bad it was a bowel movement and she pooped out his genetic future. Smiley face. I guess the chat is taking V's advice and making dead baby jokes. It's terrible. 
V, why did you encourage chat to do that? Exiled Postman, Jim, have you ever watched Future Diary? It's stupid but awesome and very violent. I just felt like asking. HTRTU, Sargon has beaten shit rat in autism since he apparently wants the FBI to investigate a Canadian living in Canada. From Spurgan of Kokistan, Sargon's list of miscarriages, his Kickstarter game, the Liberalist, his political career, GG 2.0, his reputation as a free speech advocate, and his kid. Point Curathon, or Point Curation, sorry, and censorship now, and deplatforming now. From Trues, what's your stream.me account? Um, I don't have one yet, uh, but what I am going to be doing is I am actually going to move over there and start streaming. I think that works out better because then I don't have to take the fucking stream down and somebody else has to upload it somewhere else. I can just leave it up. It's much more forgiving. There's much more leeway to talk about whatever you want. And, you know, even the art contest that we had scheduled for today was the V Vor art uh, contest. Uh, there's some pretty spicy ones with some nudity and a few other things that YouTube's not going to allow. So I think I'm going to move over to stream.me and I'm probably going to do a stream Tuesday or Wednesday evening. Uh, we'll start it off with the art contest and just have a normal stream. Uh, I'll announce the winners there. They do polls over there, so voting will be much easier. Uh, and I'll pick a name and get all that shit set up uh, in the next day or so. But I want people to be able to see the art. Uh, some people have done some really fucking fantastic shit. Some people even did animations. Like, full-done fucking animations. Not just uh, a short gif with, like, two frames or a singular picture. But, like, you know, music video level animations. Uh, and I want you guys to be able to see that. But some of them, some of them have uh, some very, <laughs> some very spicy content attached to them. Okay, Orange Joe, a lack of sincerity and preachiness makes it hard to take Surgan seriously or find funny. It also doesn't help how shifty he seems to be. Rip his career from A-RM. Can we make it up to 1488 Super Chats this evening? We'll see if we can. From Leadman, did you know last Sunday's episode of Doctor Who featured an Mpreg birth? Uh, no, I did not. From Veggie Bad, Orgy Porgy Ford and Fun, kiss a girl and make them one. Boys are one with girls at peace. Orgy Porgy give release. From Masty Plainville, Sargon of Miscarriage. From Mr. Zeke Blowestein, Jim, I'm planning a visit to the U.S. in a couple of years after my service. What would be a good route to take to see everything noteworthy and fun? Maybe even stop by David Duke and Zyklon Ben. Cheers. I guess it depends on what you're looking for. If you want to go around shooting guns and target practice and doing all that shit, you can do it pretty much anywhere. If you want to go see landmarks, they're, they're pretty... I, it really depends on what you're looking for. Do you want like a vacation experience or are you looking to see the real country? I, I don't know. Uh, tweet me and I'll give you a, a suggested route. Uh, thank you very much. Dirty McGurdy from Bort and Ernie. Hey, Jim, I dressed up as Hex Maniac for Halloween. Not only did I look good, but I got my friend to fuck my boy butt. I'm still not sure if that's gay. Uh, if you've got a dick up your butt, I'm going to have to go with yes. From Mega, what videos do you have planned for the future? I'm actually doing one uh, that should be coming up in a day or so called The Limits of Karma, taking a look at Chris Chan's mom. Uh, nothing really to do with Chris Chan himself, but just kind of Barbara's descent into illness, and I, I don't know what you'd call it. Just there, there's no light behind the eyes. And talking about, you know, does she deserve it? Uh, is she at the point where she should be pitied? Uh, should Snorlax get a break? That kind of thing. I thought that was an interesting subject, so that's one, I, uh, one I've been working on. Uh, from Dirty McGurdy, got too excited and forgot to put a message. SGO Birds, Naughty Carmel Bunny 74, been waiting to hear you grooming voice, so smirt. From Cozy Palette and your cigarette fueled cackle brings me great joy. I'm glad you like it. Lost Hopian, Soygon owns 88 Twitter accounts beyond 14, <laughs> behind 14 proxies. 14 proxies and 88 Twitter accounts. Huh. From Aaron, type S to spit on Sargon's dead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Press S to spit on Sargon's dead kid. From Kit Tens, uh, thank you, Gator Music Incorporated, you said you were lacking music a while ago, so I made you a Dumpster Fire remix. It's just 1 minute and 30 seconds long, though. Sent it to Mr. Anti-Bully's Twitter. I will take a look at that. It would be nice to have some music for breaks and just all the sorts of different shit. Get ready for the circus. If Jim plays the Blues Clues remix, I'm going to get the Wall Street Journal to have his Super Chat refunded. From Pharaoh Owen, can a troll really troll a troll? Uh, it's like a haiku. It's a very old question. Fran Madarka, this coming Thanksgiving, I can't wait to be stuffed, but not as stuffed as <laughs> Snake Thing when Big Tyrone and Tyrell are through. Winky face. From Feldgray, deal die or dial D for death of the furry community. 
Naughty Carmel Bunny 74, Kami Fornia, just don't. Be smirt, groom me Jimbo. From Palmer Eldritch, that moment belongs to us, gentlemen. Lord Shekel, you're the paladin of the internet, slay the degenerates, and the skeptics, my lord. I'll read five more here. From Puppet Pal Clem, Sargon thought he could go after low-hanging fruit like Christy and Kevin, but even though they don't fall for his sympathetic ploy with the stillborn. Yeah, I, it, again, it's hard to timestamp a stream that's going on because the time code keeps changing as it's moving. Uh, but yeah, he did try to do the, how could, you know, I've been make, people have been making fun of my dead kid, show some sympathy. Uh, to which Kevin Logan responded, well, you laughed when Christy was talking about uh, being raped or something. And, you know, posting pictures of her with, uh, you know, people like doing tributes on it and shit. I, I, I don't know. I can't remember the exact wording because I can't find the exact time code. Uh, key to, er, KTTK, liberalists have shown up outside Jim's house. Melvin the Weed Wizard, Sargon of a Cucks, appetizer was undercooked. Again from key to, er, KTTK, behead all followers of the Faceless Man. And Ran K, don't spend it all in one place, Jim. All right, we will we will take a look at some more Super Chats later on. <laughs> chat, chat's reacting to some of this, yeah. Some of those are spicy. I will give you that, chat. I will give you that. Oh, no, somebody's telling me that uh, Don Sergoon is streaming right now. He said he was going to stream snipe me, so I don't know if he's actually going through with that. Uh, let me let me see if I can find it. Oh, here we go. Christie's Coattails, The Triumph of Jimothy, Schmuckles. That's hashtag schmuckles. Oh, that must be a Sargon live stream because only 2,000 people are watching. Just like Kraut did. Remember when... Oh, it's getting meta. I'm watching his stream and he's watching my stream. It's like putting two mirrors in front of each other. It's an endless loop. All you're going to hear is my smoker's cackle and his schmuckles echoing out through fucking eternity. Come on, Jim. Show me the evidence. Oh, there he is. He's, he's demanding, where is the evidence, Jim? You know, uh, since he brought up evidence... Let me just pull this up. I'll uh, take that down for a second. When I was on Ralph's stream with Sargon, I said, you know, because people were making uh, dead baby jokes and he was upset about it. And, you know, I can understand why he'd be upset about it, but, uh, you know, he, he was saying it was terrible. And I had said to him, well, didn't you give Thunderfoot shit uh, when Thunderfoot got upset about jokes that you guys were making? And he, he got right up my ass and he's like, can you prove that? Can you give me a citation for that? Um, I believe this would be a citation for that. Doctor, that would be the ethical thing to do or anything, but since we're on the subject of ethics, tell me, Dr. Mason, what is unethical about a joke? The answer is, of course, nothing. Jokes are not unethical, they're not immoral. And the reason you are talking about morals and ethics and jokes is because that's all you fucking have. Dead feminists, am I right, guys? Thunderfoot, you need to shut the fuck up. Okay, we're making fun of feminist Deadpool and his killing spree. All right, it's just a joke. Learn to take a fucking joke, Thunderfoot. Dr. Mason. All right, they're just jokes on the internet. What the fuck is your problem, Dr. Mason? Can't you handle humor? Can't you handle a good fucking joke? I'm not playing the victim, Thunderfoot. You need to, you need to learn to take a fucking joke. It's not like he's tweeting out saying this shit. It's not like he's... He's putting out messages saying, hey, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with offensive humor. Oh, wait, it's okay to tell offensive jokes. Yeah, he was saying that. Hey, everybody, it's okay to tell offensive jokes. So I guess, you know, if Sargon's out there telling uh, Thunderfoot to shut the fuck up and he's tweeting out tell offensive jokes and V's begging people to make dead baby jokes, I guess he's okay with it? Now, it'd be weird that he'd change his position now. Now, me personally, I haven't done it. Um, I don't really see a need to, but not condemning anybody that does. That's been another tactic that I've seen over the last couple of weeks of uh, the skeptics trying to get me to disavow people that watch me. Like, if you guys say something obnoxious, I'm supposed to be like, I can't associate with that anymore. You make all the fucking jokes you want. You say all the outrageous shit you want to say. The internet is going to basically be a censored shithole pretty soon here, so I don't blame you for being fucking outrageous. Uh, you might as well enjoy it while you can. Because... You know, give it five years, ten years, we're all going to have real ID'd fucking accounts. Nobody's going to be able to have fun. Nobody's going to be able to tell an edgy fucking joke. It's going to be a disaster. A boring, shitty fucking disaster. So I'm not going to lecture you on the humor that you like. You want to tell a joke? You fucking tell a joke. You're going to super chat me something? I'm going to fucking read it. I don't care what it says. Hey, 1488, whatever. Now, I could go back to... I could go back to Sargoon uh, streaming my stream, but... 
I don't see a point in it, do you? It's Sunday fun day. It's meant to be it's meant to be relaxed, meant to have a little bit of a little bit of sun a little bit of sun on a fun day. Why not? A little bit of sun on a fun day and a little bit of fun on a Sunday. So let's go read some of those just terrible super chats without outrageous humor that you evil people seemingly like so much. And which I do not disavow. I'm not going to disavow so your sense of humor. Oh, wrong thing. Is that is that the banner tech? There we go. There we go. Oh, let me just pull this up on stream uh, or screen. We'll read through them. Okay. Uh, from Ran K. Don't spend it all on. Okay, we read that one. Kit tens through almost a decade have been around the net. I'm yet to find a more entertaining guy than you, Jim. And it would mean a bunch if you'd care for a fill in the blank. David Bakey's. Hey Jimbo, give or hey Jimbo, have my shekels is about the big names start abandoning the Jew controlled cesspit for better options like D Live. <laughs> Fucking D Live. Uh, for those that don't know, when Ralph got deplatformed on YouTube, he tried to find other places that he could go. And one of those places that he went, one of the first places that he went was D Live. Now D Live had an audience base of like a couple hundred people, but you could stream there. And they were really happy to see an influx because I think Ralph's first show on DLive was like 6,000 people. And they were fucking thrilled that 6,000 people had shown up on a platform that only had a few hundred to begin with. So they invite Ralph over, right? And they're like, we'll, we'll cater to you. We'll set shit up for you. We're happy to have you here. And it took the span of two days. It took the span of two days for the CEO to release a statement about hate speech and targeted harassment. And that was the end of DLive. Now, the Streamy guys, on the other hand, the other platform that Ralph ended up going to, uh, have a very different outlook. As long as you're not going insanely over the top and doing horrendous shit, uh, they don't really care. They just want you to be, you know, <laughs> they just want it so the FBI doesn't show up at their fucking door. And they seem to be pretty relaxed, yeah, implementing features, trying to accommodate new people coming in, you know, making people happy. Uh, D-Life had the opposite approach. I don't know why that is. I know DLive had a system set up where they had their own cryptocurrency, and if you watch from a browser, it would enable a Bitcoin miner. Uh, I know that they paid you in a currency they controlled that wasn't open to anybody else, so they could set the price for buying and selling. So maybe it's like a fly-by-night thing that's meant to lure in unsuspecting Facebook moms. I have no idea. I have no idea. But StreamMe worked pretty damn well. I've yet to see them disavow things. From Mario Carter 13, 6 million down, 1488% APR financing the libs. Kit tens. Through almost a decade, I've been around the net. I'm yet to find. Oh, we already read that one. Fran Menarchy. After those streams, it should change from the quarter pounder to the fully pounded. Ocean Man. Sargoy depends on the color of the dead fetus. Oh, chat, you're being unmerciful. From Marcus Jim. Kit tens. Shot of Karkov of what you have, my grain, who are. Shot of Kharkov, or whatever you have for my grand who recently passed away. Looking forward to the stream tonight. Cheers. From the Bone Zone, straight up murder uh, murder blacks and Mexican and Jews and Reagans. From Critical, 148 gangbangs, aborted Sargon's baby. <laughs> oh. Pinky Peanut Pie, Dump Sephia. We've got a message retracted, so I'll never know what that one said. From Trues, a man has died after filling his testicles with silicone. Jack Chapman, 28, is also known as Tank Hafferton, died in Seattle, USA after injecting a large amount of fluids into his balls. Yeah, I think I'll pause Super Chats for a minute. Let's go find out about the guy that killed himself by... <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Uh, okay, right, let me pull this up. Uh, turn this off for a second. Oh, my balls are too big. Oh, they're all meaty. Oh, they've inflated to the size of balloons. They're beach balls now, and they burst, and I'm dead. Dumb people doing dumb shit never gets old. Okay. Man dies after injecting silicone into genitals. Mom blames sex cult master. Oh, I already like the title. A Washington kink... Er, a Washington kink enthusiast died last month after silicone injections in his genitals led to fatal bleeding. <laughs> oh, but his mom believes a gay sex cult is to blame. Jack Chapman, 28-year-old Australian, of course, living in Seattle, died from silicone embolism syndrome, resulting in hemorrhaging in the lungs. The King County Medical Examiner's Office told the stranger this week. Chapman, who went by Tank Heathcliff, Harfpurton, and Pup Tank, 
was an active member of San Francisco and later Seattle's gay BDSM scene. Chapman served as one of the several sex slaves to Master Dylan Haffertepen, known as the nickname Noodles and Beef. Haffertepen was has thousands of followers on social media, is known to, for po- uh, posting salacious photos with his slaves, whom he calls his pups. Several, several of Haffertepen's pups, including Tank, appear to have artificially enlarged genitals, as well as extremely muscular bodies. Chapman's mother, Linda, is blaming Haffertepen for turning her... You know, that's a horrible name to have to say. I'm going to call him Heifer. Chapman's mother, Linda, is blaming Heifer for turning her son to the dangerous body modification that resulted in his death. She likened her son's relationship with the master to a cult. It was a devotion. It was like some sort of clan, family, like a cult. And to prove their devotion to him, they had to change their bodies, Linda said on an Australian talk show, The Project, which aired on Channel 10 this week. He was not the jack that I sent over there. He had no self-esteem. He'd lost himself in the cult. This was a disturbed boy. Linda detailed a contract her son signed with Heifer, which promised his master total control over his mind and body. She said her son was required to take Heifer's last name, give him his salary, wear a chain around his neck and cut off all contact with anybody outside the BDSM circle. Uh, Heifer deactivated several of his accounts after Chapman's death. It is not known who injected silicone into Chapman's scrotum. Chapman's death in mid-October was caused by viral inflammation of the lungs called pneumon- er, uh, pneumonitis, which progressed to acute respiratory disease or distress syndrome. The King County Medical Examiner said the syndrome eventually resulted in hemorrhaging in the lungs. Okay, what... <laughs> Did they tell us how much he put in his nuts? Uh, Facebook uh, undiagnosed lung ailment, Seattle police. Tank's greatest passion was for his partner, Dylan. Over eight years, overcoming all challenges of size of continents. I guess wh- wh- that his balls, I guess, were the size of continents. Talk about a Darwin Award winner. Injecting his balls with silicone. Injecting it right into his testicles and then dying from, from a fucking lung embolism. Oh, I wonder if it's like that South Park episode, you know, where Randy uh, gives himself testicular cancer and has to walk around with a fucking wheelbarrow. Like, did this dude, could he fit him in his pants? Do you have to have like a little pouch for his nuts? Like a little kangaroo pouch that was like stitched onto the front of his jeans so he could walk outside because they were just too swollen? Like if he bumped into something, would they explode? Oh, could you imagine being his mother and father having to go to the fucking coroner to identify your dead son? (laughs) <laughs> and underneath the sheet they pull it back to show you his face but underneath the sheet where his balls are it looks like they've got a, a volleyball down there and you're like what the fuck is that and they pull the sheet down a little bit more it's just it's just massive testicles just massive blood filled testicles brilliant that's really smart smart idea okay, yeah, who, who saw that going badly for him Yes, chat, that would be a no-nut November. He's not going to be nutting at all in November. He's fucking dead. Uh, Heifer, his pup master, filled his balls with too much spackle, and now now he's fucking dead. What a fucking moron. Ugh. What an idiot. Okay, sorry. Let's get back to the... Where, where the fuck was I? Um, oh, let's see. There we go. That's a it's a nice little news story to break up the Super Chats for a minute there. Uh, from Ben, uh, Sargon has an excessively low IQ. From Joey Jojo, the better be uh, the better be good big boss. I'm skipping a Mar- Martini, Marcota, and Margaret Massalona stream for this. Better have your A-game bands, Medicare. Elizabeth Bathory. Fitting song, Sargon's Kid is Under the Sea. From 6-8 Toast, Sargon, already blown the fuck out just from the opening song. Panda Pie, I used to be a subscriber, but I really can't get past just how fucking smuggy sounds in all his videos now. The hubris is just obnoxious. From Tabby296, Happy Veterans Day, everyone. Hope you have a funny, sunny day. From Robert, get Jim on the fucking stream. Andrew K, can't believe they got Chris Ray Gunn to do their voice work on this song. Judicious Echoes. Link to that intro song, to be honest. Uh, that song is called Me, an Intellectual. You can find it on YouTube. There are a few copies that are still up. 
from That Perturbed Sun. Where can I get a copy of that intro song? It's Smirt. Again, that would be me and intellectual. From CS, hey Jim, did you know anything about the R9 cute? Uh, no, I'm not familiar with that right now. Purple Oblivion, rename skeptics the skeptics, or rename skeptics the septics as they act so shittily. Hank J. Wimbledon, Sweetie Squad is better than the Stillborn Squad. And Fennis, Carl is upset about his past comments, ruined his political career. GG2 was his attempt to use his enemies to fight his enemies. Jim wouldn't make the bad journalists go away, so Carl needed more dopamine. From Chase Weiler, Eurasia did nothing wrong, but Oasia, uh, burn Oasia to the ground, make Eurasia great again. From Ash here, Jeremy here, the fingering. Hello, Twickers Nits. Aaron Shadows, Christy, blown the fuck out of Sargon today. Free content for you. From Nintendo, Lu <laughs> Nintendo Luigi, keep calm and have more white babies. Full Bender TV, Jim, can you say, I'm refunding Killing Floor 2? Rod Howard, why aren't you playing Skyrim on your Alexis, Jim? Stop being such a faggot. From Uneducated, uneducated Duck, thank you, James, for leading the new anti-skeptic Irish Republican Army. It's always good to have another group at the, or for the cause of the uh, tell. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it's just been, it's, you know, I, I understand things have been a little off kilter the last, I, I just take a minute to say this, like the last month and a half, but you have to bear with me a little bit. Now, I am a lazy son of a bitch, and I always do push projects back, and I change my mind at the last minute, but again, you know, in the last, like, four weeks, five weeks, I've been deplatformed, doxxed, and DDoSed, so <laughs> I'm just getting my footing back, and then amidst all of that, Ralph gets deplatformed has to go to another fucking service altogether. And now Andy is apparently has people targeting him with the Wall Street Journal. That's just, uh, it's very interesting. It's very coincidental. Very, very coincidental. I should have had a Dami Pesos clip ready to play with uh, It's Just a Coincidence, but I did not have that ready. It was not prepped and ready to go. Is Sargon still stream sniping us or is he has he smugly chuckled off into the sunset? Let's Let's go take a look. Unless he just wants me to read my own super chats on his stream, maybe. I don't know. Is he still doing it? And the mask is slipping a little more and more. Okay. Oh, he's rewind. Uh, he rewound the stream a little bit, I guess, to catch up. But there are some smug chuckles going on. So rest assured, there's there's a good amount of smug chuckling happening in real time right now, chat. I hope you all enjoy these smug chuckles. Uh, okay, where are we? Uh, the orange cow. Did you see that you've been cucked out of the cut? Or cuck Couch cuck video. The early bird gets the worm. Matthew uh, Nidog. Did Sargon defend Gunn's rape pedo jokes? Because if he did, that makes him a hypocrite. Rape pedo jokes equal okay. Well, then mit er, miscarriage jokes equal too far because personal? The woke awoo. Uh, fuck Nikers and fuck Jannies too. Dabs emoji, er, emoji. Daniel Charney. Blessed be the sweetie squad and our father patio furniture on this holy, <laughs> on this holy day. May he groom us in his image. And the Lord said, drink of this Karkov, for it is my blood. From NPC 09362764510, it must be really tough for Soygon to wait for his son's first words. But the only sound he can hear from him is a meaty spit, is a meaty splat at the bottom of a dumpster. Woo, chat. Mako Horror Show. Hey, Jim, I know you've been busy, but are you still open to streaming with smaller channels? Would you stream with me about internet mental illness? Uh, yeah, hit up my good friend Mr. Anti-Bully on Twitter. Stuff's 100, you know fucky with the smuggle. Garrett Jeffries, what claim? Smugly chuckles. Samurai Jam Down, Sukhan of Applebee's. Wamo Shinderu. Shekelmeister, or Shekelmeister. Soy for the soy father, docks for the doxer throne. Remember to respect all human beings. From Buzzle 2345464765. Jimmy, you need to bury Soygon and put him out of his misery, just like PP did to Carl Jr. One Spider Jerusalem. Why is he doing all this and not just making videos? I I'll tell you why. I know this is more of a relaxed kind of uh, stream. You know, I could have had more ready to go, but he's making such a fucking ass of himself. Do I really need to? Uh, why he's doing is pretty simple. Sargon can't handle banter. He doesn't like getting made fun of. It was really easy for him to deal with it when it was some blue hair SJW or a feminist. Because he could hand wave it away and say, well, it's just the leftist. It's just extreme politics. It doesn't matter what their criticism is. But when everybody's making fun of him, he flips the fuck out. He can't handle it. Adam Worski. All right. 
Andy, low IQ Andy, uh, booted him from his stream. Told him to suck a dick and threw him off his stream. I made fun of his stupid fucking suit. Uh, Ralph made a, a dead baby joke. Like he he does he can't handle it. It just it fucks him up on a deep level, and he gets really mad about it. And I think uh, that's kind of what we're seeing is him flipping out more and more. And I think he really did go on to Christy Winter's stream to try to do damage control, to go back to the well, uh, to show everybody that he can, he's the classic Sargon. He can teach those fucking feminists a lesson. And her and Kevin just gangbanged him in front of however many people they had in their audience because uh, he was completely uninformed on the topic they were discussing. And uh, they kept making jokes about V being a, a, a dirty gypsy and a gimp and uh, Sargon not knowing what the fuck he's talking about to the point where he had to silence himself and rage for like three fucking minutes. Okay. Uh, Crowder had D. Sargon is going to take his goys and go home. Had a gay or had a gay name. I changed it. Why the fuck is Sargon always talking about American politics and being so concerned about American politics instead of his own? It's a good question. I couldn't tell you. From Kang Tut, who are these literal who's? Uh, those would be the people that Sargon just decided to stream with. Again, <laughs> everybody is shitting on him right now. And I, I think it's fucking him up. But um, you can read the description. And what we presume is some sort of uh, desperation. Sargon of Akkad asked if he could join us. So even they fucking know. He's desperate. What is he? What are you doing, Carl? Christy Winters is calling you fucking desperate. I think they're well aware of what Sargon's been up to. I think a lot of people are, and they're just kind of dumbfounded by the way he's acting. And, uh, it, you know, the gay ops, I guess. And, you know, it goes back to what I was you know, talking about in the beginning with Kraut of Kraut getting angry because people made fun of a dumb decision that he did and getting deeper and deeper into it until the point when he was so deep into it, he had a fucking meltdown. Uh, and that's kind of what's going on with Sargon. He's getting deeper and deeper into it. At first it was, oh, I'll never do such a thing. And now it's, well, I'll do it, but I'm just kind of joking about it to, well, maybe I'll do it because fuck you, Andy Worski. to whatever the fuck he's doing today. I don't know, which is echoing my, my stream and smugly chuckling, maybe. I, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, it's a hell of a shit show to watch. I can tell you that much. Uh, it's definitely, definitely entertaining to watch happen. Now, let me see here. I need to go get a drink. But if I'm going to go get a drink, I want to put, I want to put something on so we can listen to in the background. What, what do I got here? Uh... You know what? We'll do Rourke's Drift again. Uh, I, I think that's a pretty good song. Okay. Uh, we'll take a small break, everybody. I'll, I'll put up text so everybody knows. Go take a piss, grab a drink, stretch your legs for a minute. You know, whatever whatever you feel like doing. Uh, just a small break, maybe five minutes at most. And then we'll come back, do more Super Chats, uh, look at some more goofy shit, talk about stuff, that kind of stuff. Maybe maybe we'll talk about Shirt Fed and Taco uh, and a, what a retard he is. I, I don't know just yet. But let me let me change this. There we go. Okay. Put that up. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll be back in yeah, like three to five minutes. <laughs>
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed your break there, chat. Uh, somebody somebody sent me a news article that apparently has pictures of our man that injected uh, saline into his nuts. Uh, he, is, he is clothed, so you're not going to get the, the full experience, but I think I can share it. I, I think these are... It is a news article. It's discussing, <laughs> it's discussing important things. Uh, let's take a look at Mr. Big Balls. Uh, Mr. Darwin Award winner, I'm going to inject spackle into my nuts and uh, everything's going to be okay. Uh, here we go. I think this should do it. Okay. So a gay man has died after injecting his balls with silicone. We've already read that. Uh, Jack Chapman, 28, died in Seattle. It's a little bit blurry, but here we go. Are you ready for the reveal chat? I, 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 you know, Take a guess. How big do you think this fucking lump is going to be? How big do you think? How big do you think this lump is going to be? I want to tease you a little bit. I want you to take your best guess at the size of this fucking thing. Oh, my tease in your chat is it? It's almost there. You can almost see it. Look at him. He's ready to show off. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god! Look at the size of that fucking thing. It's just a sphere. There's no penis in those speedos. It is just a giant fucking sphere. A sphere of silicone. A giant silicone <laughs> sphere. He's redheaded too, of course. Of course he's redheaded. <laughs> Look at that fucking abomination. What was he thinking? <laughs> oh, does he, uh, like, what kind of pants was this dude wearing? God damn, man. There's, there's a point where you got to be like, I've gone too far. <laughs> it's more of them. <laughs> Look at the look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of it. It's as big as his knee. This is as big as his fucking knee. They've all got him. This guy's got an entire fucking group of slaves that have fucking put spackle in their nuts. Dead in Seattle. Could you imagine being the fucking doctor that's got to work on this goofy fucker? Comes in in his speedos with a giant fucking package. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, wait. Did that cut that out? Oh, hopefully it didn't jump back to chat. All right, there we go. Oh, here's, here's another one. Look at, the, look at the face of an angel. That's the face of a man that's injected massive amounts of silicone into his testicles. He's just smiling. It's a warm, sunny day out. His giant beach ball-sized testicles just laying on his knees. <laughs> Condemn the cult. Look at her. She looks so fucked up. It's like, I cannot believe my big, gay, dumb son killed himself by inflating his balls until they exploded. My dumb fucking son injected putty into his nuts, and he's not with us any longer. <laughs> the new segment, look at her face. Look at her fucking face. Oh, became emotional. Yeah, with tears of laughter. How can you read a story like this and not be like, what the fuck is the matter with these people? <laughs> Jesus, dude. Oh, what are you thinking, champ? Oh, that is a mistake on your part. Uh, he learned a valuable lesson. Too bad he's not going to be around to, to remember it, but he learned a lesson. Don't inject silicone in your nuts, kids. It's a bad idea, apparently. That fucking news reporter looked like she was <laughs> just pure disgust on her face. Oh, uh, uh, it's just just disgust. Couldn't couldn't fucking stand it. All right, I'm I'm uh, we'll get back to some super chats here. I just wanted to give you all an idea of what he looked like because I'm sure we were all very curious about what those big boy balls look like. Uh, Puppet pal Clem Sargon SJWs aren't as dumb as you think they are. From Hatch Zero, why is intellectual skeptic code for being an insufferably deluded brainlet? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Dirk Lemon, who is the least intelligent skeptic? Soygon, Kraut, Shitrat, Mundane Fat, or 2x4? Or a 2x4? God, which one's the dumbest? I still think Shitrat's at the, the center of all this. I think he's the master manipulator. Uh, they all, re You know what? I'm going to go with Kraut. Because even the people that were involved in the gay discord ops that Kraut was a part of uh, constantly referred to him as a buffoon. Even the people on his own side would constantly shit talk Kraut and say how fucking stupid he was. So I'm, I'm going to have to go with their assessment, I guess. From Victor Phantasm. Boss, what is going on with Sargoy? He teamed up with furries. He wants Ralph to apologize to Kraut. He's doing Discord ops and wanting to talk to Christy. 
Is this real life? Is this just fantasy? Is this a midlife crisis? Oh, you know, now that you brought that up, actually, do I have that queued up? Let me see if I if I have that time code. You know what? I, I think I do. Oh, let me see if I can find this. Give me give me one moment, because you, you, br you brought up something that kind of jog, jog my memory a little bit. So I will see if I can find it. Uh, not that one. Where, where are we looking here? Uh, let's see if I got the right time code. Subconscious fear, I think. That... I, I'm, I feel like I'm in a time warp. We're in 2018, right? This this yeah, hashtag yeah. is dead yeah, at this point. It's been yeah, four yeah. years. I mean, I yeah. feel like we're talking like about chronology. Yeah. Okay, like, no, that's not the right one. See, where are we here? We're not talking... I, I, this service is this life. service is horrendous. <laughs> is. I heard I heard I heard you were going to be pitching a, a big brained idea, so I wanted a front row seat to watch it. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of glad you're here, Jim. Oh, I, I'm sure you are. I can't find it. But during the kill stream, Sargon had mentioned that Kraut was innocent, uh, that he avows Kraut, that Kraut did nothing wrong, uh, that it was all third party sources, and that Sargon had nothing to do with it. He was uninformed. But when we listen to that Kraut audio, Kraut says he personally gave the information to Sargon. And Sargon was aware of uh, what he was doing to Ryan Falk. So, I don't know. A bit of an inconsistency, but just another one to add on to the fucking piles. I I'll try to clip it out later and put it together a little a little montage. But you jog my memory a bit with that. Uh, yeah, and the, the furry, too. I forgot about that fucking guy. Uh, Jaker K017. Ironic that Feminist is smugly chuckling at Sargon. Yeah, he did not like that. Koopa Crew. This, so this is why my nachos took so long to arrive. The Dark Fun Gang and... Deltarune. You eat moss and huff markers. It's a great game. I love it. Uh, apparently, Deltarune is a great game. The Orange Cow. Milk-fed gimp. Foxman2248. Look at all these messages deleted in their chat. Uh, New Guardian. Chrissy Winters smugly chuckled in female. Snobby Lion. This is Soygon Destruction is better than I could have imagined. Thank you, Daddy. Ryan A. If you can't defeat Christy Winters, you've lost forever. No one, nowhere. When a feminist openly laughs in your face, it's over. <laughs> Sneaks O'Reilly, change the int or change this into Lino coin and buy some lemons and ice cream. NPC0783, Sargon didn't do nothing wrong, guys. Leave him alone. He's a big time politician and doesn't have time for internet pedantries. You plebs. Random facts. What a world where Christy and Kevin aren't actually the cringy ones in the situation. Damn Sargon. Smugly chuckle some more. I'm sure it'll help. Stuff's 100. How much of a dipshit do you have to be to let Kevin Logan make you look bad? Caleb Lambright. I donated two dollars to quartering, called him a loser, and he doesn't deny it. Also, if Andy Worski beats up AIU in a fight, is atheism then stoppable? Hashtag Sweetie Squad. HTRTU on topic of why Kiro is currently being investigated by the police. I wonder if Snake Thing, while being in jail, is currently throwing everyone who is ever in their group under the bus, including Kiro. Uh, yeah, that is a bit of an update. Uh, for those of you that followed the Zoophilia shit, uh, the zoo sadist leaks and all of that stuff, uh, one of them was arrested and then apparently let go because it was past the statute of limitations. And now Kiro is under police investigation, put up a statement saying that he couldn't speak on it, and that he would talk about it at a later time. So the police are aware of them, and they are looking into them. Uh, who knows how it's going to turn out, but I'm sure we'll all get updates uh, eventually. But probably, probably not the best thing to be in groups trading pictures of kids and animals and fucking puppies. Probably not the best idea for Kiro to have gone with. Uh, where are we here? Uh, Deplorableology, unsubbing from Sorgoy of Massad. Who's with me? Lord Odin, can't watch now, Jim, so I'll give you some shekels. Instead, enjoy your potatoes, me laddie. Solid steak. Can't handle them. Robust feminist arguments, huh, Don? Soygon. Aperian wing, falling against 50 splinters is the mental equivalent of slipping on a smug banana peel. From Bombastic Black Diamond. For some reason, Super Chat won't let me post links, but we've got a furry pedal on the loose, Jimbo. The video of him confessing is on my Twitter. Well, I, I don't know what your Twitter is. Uh, is it Bombastic Blake Diamond or is it something else? If you had a video of it, uh, maybe somebody can link that to my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully. If we can get a clip, I'll play it on stream. From Ace Kenshader, when has conservatives in the GOP ever followed the rule of law? They never did during the Obama presidency and still do during Trump presidency. Jackson Rodding, what's it going to take for you to beat the soy out of that cum guzzling pleb soygon of abort? Just kick his head into the dirt. What's it going to take, Jim? By the way, enjoy your Sunday fun days and watching the art contest. 
From the Ralph Retort Archive, visit the Ralph Retort Archive for Killstream Archives, updated every day at 1 p.m. Eastern, and stream.me slash the Ralph Retort for a post show with Ralph and Andy Worski. Totally not an ad, uh, W. <laughs> Totally not a Wall Street Journal reporter. Hi, fellow citizens. I am one of you. Hashtag Sweetie Squad. Hashtag 1408. Blending and well. <laughs> Blending and very well. From uh, Daniel Omitted, poor Soygon, he doesn't know what he doesn't know. From Goober Magoob, would impregnate this broad, chain her up, and force her to birth my spawn, impregnate the womb's breeder war now. Leadmaster, 20 fiat checkles for you, Jim. Soygon of Mo said in his final death spiral now. This is pathetic. Skeptics, please quit the internet permanently. Uh, uh, just loading here. Give me a second. Sargo Sargoy's kid did itself a favor by becoming a stillbirth soup. <laughs> Robert, Sargon is one degree of separation from this feminist prong dildo. He took like uh, he took that rape like a champ. Cloud Star, all Sargon wanted was a chat. Kwame 10, is Ross attached to Kraut? Uh, no, I believe you're talking about fake Ross. Uh, real Ross is not. This is OJ Say More Homie. Sargon actually ended up making an international feminist look good. That is beyond sad. Drew Thompson, Carl is just a melting pot of conflicting political strategies from people far smarter than he is. He needs to help. Why is he doing this to himself? Lurik L, check out Sargon No, the Smug Nightly vid. Uh, well, let me, let me take a look at it, see if it's good. Sargon No, Smug Nightly. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, no, that's not the right one. I've got a friend, he's uh, quite a short guy. Do you know what he did? He did martial arts. Yeah. He's a okay, I think this is the one he's talking about. Let's, let's take a look, chat. Let's see what he wants us to watch. Actually, you know what? Let me just skip through this to see if there are any tits that flash up. I don't see any. Okay. Just, just on the off chance. All right, this is the video the uh, super chatter wanted to watch. Let's let's take a look. I've got a friend. He's uh, quite a short guy. Do you know what he did? He did what martial did? arts. Yeah. He's a nippy little guy, and he's nippy. quite strong for oh, he's nippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he can get around. He can get around. He's an amazing. Uh, we we go like a uh, bouldering as well, climbing. And he's, he's amazing at it. You would not believe how unbelievable he, his 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 girlfriend is so attractive. I've got a friend. Oh, his girlfriend is attractive, is she? Oh. Sargon, you're a married man. What are you doing? Going bouldering. Wonder who that could be. Wonder who the bouldering individual could have been. From HDR to you, Andy went. Screw the optics. I'm going in here. Milk fed gimp. Just for the record, Christy Winters and Kevin fucking Logan destroyed Sarkuk. How is he not preparing the noose right now for a peaceful sunset? From Bob Job, who's more insane, Sargon quartering Boar or Johnny Skidmark? Ah. <sighs> I, I think Sargon's headed that way, to be honest with you. Scat Bukaki, Sarpazd of Asmad. The Minutemen, I never thought I'd be watching Kevin and Christy eat Sargon's lunch like that. He's going to snap soon, also shilling my giveaway. Thanks, da er, thanks, Daddy. And apparently that's at gleam.io uh, backslash Z-Y-U-C-C -C backslash November giveaway. Mr. Zeke Blostein. The most precious possession you have in this world is your own people. And for this people and for the sake of this people, we will struggle and fight and never slacken, never tire, never lose courage, and never lose faith. Marcus 12,000 BC. Is Sargon the DSP of YouTube political commentators or just autistic? Uh, you know, DSP has this weird ability where even if everything goes to shit, right? Even if everything completely falls flat on its fucking face, he will find a way to luck out of it. I don't think Sargon has that luck. So I would go with just autistic. He doesn't have the savvy or the luck of DSP. The vile delinquent. Good lord, I used to be a fan of Sargon's. Was he always this bad? Or was I just stupid? Or did he actually used to be cool and smirt? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Chrissy Tokyo, thanks for streaming. I always look forward to Sunday Fundays with more grooming. Sweetie Squad for life. From Biz Marquito. 27, Rip Soygon Autistic Skeptic. KF, Ik Tram Os Haken Krazun. Uh, love, hashtag SS for, I'm, I'm guessing, Sweetie Squad. And I probably butchered what you wanted me to say, but I gave it a shot. Epion Wing, Carl uses Smug Chuckle. It's ineffective. Fisty uses Smug Chuckle. It's super effective. Sargon is confused. 
Oh, what do we got? Uh, what, what's that there? Oh, no. Okay. Said it badly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's What are you going to do? Zim Zam, I heard you're watching the current season of JoJo right now. What's your opinion so far, and what's your favorite stand of the series so far? I, I have not. Uh, people keep recommending it to me. I ended up uh, ended up watching somebody commit goblin genocide instead. So I've been, I've been focused on that. Diablo Samurai, 1985. If he was as smart as he thinks he is, Soygon would go back to Kekistan and his Hugbox army. From M.A., hey, Jim, how about you move on? This is worse than daytime TV dramas for women over 35. Sad. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to uh, when this fucking obnoxious cunt is deplatforming people or attempting to do it in a cute, fun, little, playful way. Uh, Kraut did it to people. It looks like Sargon's doing it to people. It looks like Quarter Poundering wanted to try doing it to people. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to ignore that. Fuck him. I mean, fuck, he's a giant pussy. Oh, somebody made fun of his suit. Somebody made too many jokes about his stupid political ideas. Somebody made fun of his stupid fucking hashtag. Guess he's got to drive him off the internet. Uh, nah, it, it's Tumblr shit. That's RSRS shit. Duke Nukem, look up Yuri Bezimov on YouTube. Modern leftist talking points all result from KGB subversion tactics. He can exit all the dots for us in 1984. From Soktis, Soktis Magotis. St. Jude's, I'm proud that you beat those mean bigots. Wall Street Journal, finally. St. Jude's, but I do feel bad about the dying children. They're with God now. Well, that's good. Duke Nukem, uh, oh, we've already read that one. Lucky decision, Sweetie Squad sends hugs to all from Trues. Jim, when are you going to get the Guardian in this gay connection to all of the shit? Oh, when am I going to get to the Guardian? I, I don't know what his gay connection is. I know he, he LARPs up from here and there, uh, but I don't know how he's connected exactly. Uh, from Meow Man, good day, Jimbo. Look up Su or Susan Schofield if you want to ever feel like making the most horrific episode of Internet Insanity possible. Joey Jojo, Rage After Storm was a cutie pie. I hope she is happy and able to live a peaceful life with her boyfriend somewhere. She didn't deserve what happened to her. Once Spider Jerusalem, what was the moment that Donga turned? Uh, Donga turned when he wasn't getting superberries anymore. Donga turned when he wasn't getting attention anymore. Uh, and he got angry, I guess, over that and decided to to team up with the other guys and teach me a lesson. I know I know Donga's out there. Uh, he's, he's doing his own art contest. Spoiler alerts. He's doing an art contest, giving away a prize. Uh, so best of luck to that. I know he needs help. He needs to some bits and material. Still needs my guidance to run a show that's not a complete train wreck. So I've got some more memes for Donga to take since he liked the art contest so much. Um, I've got a story. Maybe he can share it with his audience. Maybe Donga would like to share this story with his audience. It stars Chief Running Dumbass. Well, it's ironic they called him Chief Running Dumbass because he was really on a metal buffalo. Chief Running Dumbass's legs didn't work so good. And one day, Chief Running Dumbass came back home to his wigwam, and he heard moans coming from the wigwam. And out of the wigwam walked his girlfriend in a big black bull. Well, Chief Running Dumbass didn't like that very much. He got quite upset that the big black bull fucked his girlfriend right in front of him. So he decided to challenge the big black bull to a fight. But because Chief Running Dumbass was on a metal buffalo, he didn't stand much of a chance. So the big black bull beat his ass right in front of his woman, in front of their wigwam. And after the big black bull got done, you know, extra crippling Chief Running Dumbass and kicking him off his fucking uh, moped, uh, he decided to buy him a beer. Now, I think that's a funny story. Maybe maybe Donga should share that with his audience. Maybe Donga would like to talk about a man getting his ass kicked by the guy that fucked his girlfriend and then buying him a beer because he's such a beta bitch. I don't know. Maybe that's a story he wants to go into. I think it's entertaining. I think his audience would love it. Sweetie Squad Gas Chamber Enthusiast, Irish Fag, do you remember your videos on the Bigots Dollar? Would you share your insights after what happened to Ralph? All you chat fags support Ralph the Pack. Or the Packy loving ginger rip rage my waifu. Well, oh, let's see. Uh, Bigots Dollar was talking about the idea of would companies take money from an audience that is, uh, as the SJWs would put it, problematic. Right, You think from a business sense that money is money, and if you're amoral, like a company should be, and apolitical, like a company should be, um, that it wouldn't be an issue for them. Uh, and so I talked about, you know, this was mostly related to the apocalypse, but I guess it does apply to Super Chats. Uh, what are they going to do? Are they going to take the money? Are they going to deny the money? Uh, does it matter to them? Profit is profit. Uh, if they're making money, why not let the, the base pay them? 
Uh, I, I don't know the way it's going to go. I never thought Super Chats and the way YouTube has uh, live streaming set up was going to last. I don't think it's going to last. I think they want to steal away the Twitch audience, and I think they'll do as much as they can to do that for about another six months. But once they have a, a really solid base of live streaming that's pretty competitive with what Twitch does on a more regular basis, they're going to start to bring down the hammer on what you can say in chat and how you can give money. They may even skew the percentages. They put more uh, things in place to basically you know, more hurdles, more hoops for you to jump through to get monetization to do super chats and live streams. And so I, I think it's something that's going to not be available for a lot of people going forward. You're going to get more. What was that fucking awful stream? That <laughs> just that Bethesda did with Fallout 76. So they got Ninja Logic and the guy that does the voices of Rick and Marty or Morty to do a live stream about Fallout 76. And it was a fucking train wreck. Just awful. Fucking awful. Game is buggy as shit. They don't have any chemistry. It was fucking horrendous. But that's what you've got to look forward to. I mean, those are the kind of things that are going to get greenlit and have monetization. I mean, I know that's a different platform, so it's kind of an off-brand example. But as far as YouTube goes, they're going to pick and choose who they let do stuff and who they don't let do stuff. So I I guess this is the opportunity to move over to stream.me because that would probably be the place to go. Uh, from Ryan A, you forgot to mention the D Live Saga with Ralph. I actually went over it. From Dave Kennedy, today is my birthday. Thanks for the present. Diablo Samurai 1985, I think Saga and Citation Squad is going to be an abject failure. Johnny Vipe, please do your Harvey Weinstein impression. I, I would, but my voice is shit right now. I've got a minor cold, so it's probably not going to work. I will, I will save it for the Tuesday stream when we do the art contest over on Stream Me. Uh, in fact, I'm probably just going to be proactive. Uh, Because I don't really see a future streaming over here. Uh, So I'll probably, yeah, I'll get that set up tomorrow. I have no idea. You tell me, chat, what name should I use over on uh, StreamMe? What should should the name be over there for a nice little section uh, talking about art contests and future Sunday fun days and video games? If if I'm going to stream and I'm streaming on a dedicated streaming site, what should the name of the channel be? Doesn't have to be Medicare can be anything. You you tell me, throw out some suggestions. Gives me a chance to rest my voice and see what you can come up with. I, I don't know. I, I do like Boomer Groomer. I, I am seeing that chat. Boomer Groomer does appeal to me. I don't know if I can go with Spax. I think Spax will probably, f- <laughs> he'll throw a cell phone at my head if I try to use his name. I'm pretty sure Adolf Hitler's already taken, but it is a nice suggestion. Uh, Yeah, uh, (laughs) Uh, I'm seeing a couple. It's going by too. Still, still born of a cod. I don't know how well that would go over. Maybe I'll go with Boomer Groomer. I am seeing that pop up. A patio furniture is pretty good too. Boomer Groomer of patio furniture, maybe. Uh, Moon Man, I'm pretty sure is taken. A lot of people over there are already playing a lot of Moon Man, uh, playing a lot of um, Murdoch Murdoch, which is nice. If you go over to stream.me, you can watch fucking people live stream Murdoch Murdoch and nothing gets taken down. So you've got a live chat. You've got hours of fucking content. It's pretty good. Uh, no, I'm not going to go with Kitty Style, whoever suggested that. That's uh, It's about as good as Purple Dragon. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll go with Boomer Groomer or, pa- or uh, p- Patio Furniture. I'm not sure which one. I'll put a poll up. I should say my good friend Mr. Antibully will put a poll up on Twitter. If you get a chance later on, swing on by and vote for Boomer Groomer or Patio Furniture. I think one of those two will be will be the way to go. From Chuck Finks, Jim Medeker doxed as James O'Keefe. This is some Project Verde shit. Larry Bernard, so Jimothy, buy some taters or buy some taters on me for showcasing an Applebee's manager gone wrong for entertainment and showing the video of Sargon getting clowned. Luric L, he deleted the stream because the SC of mine was text to speech. He was fine with taking money and the same SC when it wasn't text to speech. Manchester Police, gas the skeptics, theocratic inquisition now. Mahola Viking, uh, thanks. 
Scatbukaki, what is your favorite Primark? Again, you're not going to give me... Ask me on stream.me. We can talk about all this gay shit over there. Diablo Samurai 1985. My favorite quarter pounder comment is, I respect a woman's right to choose, but I think abortion is murder. Worse fence sitting than quarter or quarry king. I'm not sure what Matt's reaction to all of this has been. He's got me blocked. I can't I can't read his fucking timeline. From Super Hans, jazz equals waiting music. Sweetie squad, gas chamber enthusiast. Yo, big boss, do we have a censor or do we have to censor ourselves? Uh, no, you can say whatever you want. From Kara Papoose, I think it's amusing or I think it's amazing that people who claim to be defendant or defenders of free speech are the ones doing the most to help YouTube cleanse itself of unpopular opinions. This is such a joke. It is weird, isn't it? The skeptics were involved with Candid. The skeptics were involved with fucking with harmful opinions. And Candid goes on to make uh, a bot that helps censor people. Its CEO ends up going to work at Twitch, and then they get fucked on censorship. And now here we are, and people are getting deplatformed, and they're cheering it on from the sideline. Mega Killer X, I'm confused. What happened to Soygon's child? Uh, apparently his wife had a, was it a stillbirth or a miscarriage? I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but his child died. Uh, before it could be born. Uh, Shadow Angel, or Shadow Angle, we should do an art contest for Sorgo or Sargoy's miscarriage. Lennon McCarthy, making fun of suits is coming, or is crossing the line. From Natalis Warren, forgive me, Mr. Mr. Jim, sir, for doubting you. I shouldn't have sent my earlier super chat. Gomnais, or Gomnasai, oodle sorry, TT. From Dame Pesos, Soy Soy's mental illness is why his fat wife aborted his son. Raising retards is difficult, but coat hangers are cheap. Her plan worked. Hashtag Gamergate forever. Oh, chat is chat is not pulling its punches with their super chats and their messages. I hope I hope V is happy. I hope V and Quarter Pounder are happy. This is what they asked for, explicitly asked for. Can't blame chat for taking them up on their offer. But I disavow nothing. You speak your speech. This is a free, a free speech platform, everybody. Uncreative deconstruction. Wow, 10K viewers, cool, right, quartering? Love you, Jim. We've got one from Noel Ripper. Soygon's meltdown is what happens when someone with full-blown narcissistic personality disorder loses their support, going back on his morals, rehashing his old bits, etc. It's the soycle of life. Tara Strong made Randy Stairs do it from uh, Green Hair. Mike's contest, Philly DeFranco touched my balloon knot. Uncreative deconstructionism. Wow, 10 KV. Oh, already read that one. Uh, Atrix, not cucking for Sergorn as he is a faggot, but look at Ralph's Twitter on September 17th. Ralph tweeted at parliament members and UKIP about Sergorn, trying to deplatform him. No different from Sergorn's tweet. I, I, again, the tweet that he retweeted wasn't at Ralph, it was at Andy Worski. Right? I mean, you can say that about Ralph, and maybe you've got a point with that. But he was retweeting something targeting Andy Worski, not Ralph. Esoteric the Free. Hey, Sargon, while you're sniping Jim, why do you keep lying and misrepresenting the libertarian counterargument to your internet bill of rights? Sock Puppet won next art contest, The Lost Meme, but with Sargon. Hurry up and wait. Dead baby jokes will always be funny. Dave D, does Sargon have a video ducking a tranny and twerking? <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> If there's a video of him twerking, that would be amusing. Purple Oblivion, fetus, deletus. From Mechazard, here, have the money I originally sent to St. Jude's and buy some cigars. Also, rip Boogie 2988. From Bombastic Blake Diamond, oh, it's the uh, link thing. Uh, gray haired snake, harmful opinions is God. Bronze Blogger, Sargon is our guy now. Tickle my sides like most guys should tickle my prostate. From Earthworm Jim, knock knock, boo boo hoo. Boo-hoo, my son died of abortion. <laughs> Axton Hale. Deviants After Dark on stream.me? Uh, maybe. Maybe I might actually be able to do that over there. From HDRTU, Sargon, you were supposed to laugh at the locals, not join them. Double O, uh, my son is alive. Smiley face. Noble Savage, what is worse than a pile of dead babies? <laughs> v eating his way out of it. From Rage Pro, you still on Minds.com. I had a Minds account, but I haven't used it in forever. Had a gay name and I changed it. Jim, watch the dead kid jokes. It's a gay op. They plan to use this as evidence to point at and say, look at this guy. You should deplatform him for doing this. Rabbi VJ, Jim must be spurging out way too much. Lima Dirk, I will put my banana on all of your art. Count on it. Eli Perez, is it true you are moving to Texas? I, I do plan on moving to Texas. Cheap real estate and uh, 
Seems like a good place. From Synac 8. So Sargon is just like those fire guys you talk about. Bitches about getting censored, then turns around and will gladly censor others that don't agree with him. Lennon McCarthy. Soy, go <laughs> Soy Goy is the sock father. From Chase Weiler. Christian lives in the town I grew up in, so I still see him sometimes at local gaming stores or McDonald's. Hurry up and wait. Did they let him keep the fetus? <laughs> That's a question you're going to have to ask him. I'm not 100% certain. JW McClure 786. Can stream.me keep up with your streams? Didn't they struggle with Ralph's? I, I think they built up their infrastructure. Um, I, I don't know. And the, you know, honestly, if I go to a different streaming platform, I'll be lucky to get like a thousand. Nobody ever really follows you over, so it'd probably be more, you know, it'd be more comfy over there. Tread Acne. The real Torgon Scornhammer. It's not Sargon's fault, you retards. Don't understand humor and irony, Jimbo. He pissed all over you on the retort the other night. Shard, er, Chandra Ellis, how is the stream.me for mobile users? I don't want to miss your streams and DLive sucked. Keep up the good work. I believe their mobile app is fairly solid. Uh, better than DLive's, if they even had one. I'm 100% sure. From Double O, Snake Thing is going to die bleeding from his anus. Daw, X333. From Davit Quest, Sargon kills memes like God kills babies. VAWBC Carry, here's some money to start an underwater habitat for furries. From Ash Zero, spent two weeks in the hospital with a broken leg. Thankfully, had your videos to help me through it. Happy Sunday, fun day, Jim. Ten bucks too. This one's for UV. How many dead babies does it take to paint a house? Depends on how hard you throw them. <laughs> Had to, had to mute myself there for a second. Had to pull a Keemstar. Step away from the mic for a minute. God Eater. I ordered the Sargon Fetus Sampler when I was at Applebee's, but when it came to the table, it was cold. Victor Phantasm. Boss, I just realized you and Jade are Star Trek opposite universe John Lennon and Yoko Ono. Instead of Sean Lennon, your kid might be a super chat. Azit Soth. The skeptic chuckles in self-satisfaction <laughs> self as you strike him. Gold 818. Hey, Jim, do you think about the JF versus Molyneux fight and whose side are you on? I'm actually unaware of that. Are they going to have a stream together? I, I, somebody's got to give me the lore on this because I don't know what's going on. JF and uh, Molyneux are, are going at each other, are they? Uh, hopefully somebody's got the, the hot details on that one. From newer 7, or 719, no message, but thank you. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, if Sargon is going to complain about you picking low-hanging fruit for the dead baby jokes, why is he mad at you and not the doctor? What's worse than one <laughs> What's worse than one dead Sargon baby in a trash can? One dead Sargon baby in ten trash cans. <laughs> Morai, hey, or hiya Sargon, your child was a hate crime in the making and is probably a good thing it never made it. Don't worry though, just die with the rest of your misbegotten kind. That's a joke though. Epic Yoshi deplatforming. It's just a prank, bro. From Nicholas McHugh, isn't all this drama just market competition? Uh, no, I would say it's not just market competition. Gamer for Christ 07. Since my mom found out I used her credit card to send super chat, she wanted me to watch with. She wanted. To, she wanted to watch you with me. Give her a shout out, please. Oh, if you made a terrible mistake. If you made a horrible mistake, Gamer for Christ 07. You're gonna get so fucking grounded. From Lone Goddess, here's some money for the anti Soygon jar. Zach Funk, hey Jim, have you ever consider have you ever searched on Google Images for Jewish baby stroller? Why is Google such a hateful company? I can honestly say I've never done that. Uh, Dick Tuno, thanks for not disavowing us. Go get yourself a handle of Karkov. Can't wait to see you on stream.me. From Kit, you can tell Jim is super pissed by how aggressively he answered that random guy's question about traveling the US. From Anna Sonstein, Sargon's issue is that he's incapable of moving on and finding new things to do. He is lost and on a self-destructive path. Stages of grief, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. He is on stage two. Patrick Abramson, Jim, let's be real, it was never Sargon's child. Sibba Hill, Daddy Jim never disavowed us and loved us. I love Daddy Jim and he will never disavow him. Inshallah. From Earjuice, stream.me as a chick talking about white race while stream sniping this. You'll be right there. Bramble Star 9010. I guess this means Sargon's wife's dinosaur really went extinct. From Dodo Sweden, skedaddly do, skedaddly do, your dead son is now a noodle. Xenophage, I like to eat a Carl's Jr. Does that mean I like to eat dead babies? 
My foreskin is missing. What's funnier? Sargon sad feminist destruction or his unborn child necking itself with its umbilical cord? The Bone Zone. It's important to shoot up Black Tar and Columbian. For, or 4chan Animal. Jim, if you absolutely have to race mix, at least marry the slant. Mr. Pingus Power. James, fuck your optics. I'm going in O'Shaughnessy. Let me catch up here. Uh, the, the Comet Man. Oh my, Movie Bob dead. Old meme, what a shame. From Joni Baloney. Sargon, conta er, Sargon contacting Wall Street Junals is sad. Seeing Rolf get deplatformed by this and then in anger talking about Sargon's dead child is heartbreaking. This is exactly what they want us to do and infighting is killing us. Sargon, come home. From Grimdark, if you want a good Irish dock song for intermissions, use Cone Out Ya Black and Tans. True sons of Iron or Aaron know this one. Sir Bon Voyage, the BDSM community is vile, disgusting cult. I wish more people would call those disgusting degenerates literal subhumans out. <laughs> Chat's getting a little heated about the story. From John Mundane, Jim, Sargon and V are not mad, all right. They don't care. Sargon is literally dealing with pan-European politics. V has been tweeting about it for two days, but he is not mad online. Question everything. Sounds like Sorgoy needs a book on how to handle the internet. Maybe Monday Matt will send him a copy. My foreskin is missing. Sargon's upset. Clearly a miscarriage of justice. Winnie Dabu, weak English bloodlines is the reason they prep the bulls for their past or for their East Asian overlords. Smugly chuckles. Uh, just give me a second here. I'm, I've got the Super Chats page open, but it fucking uh, holds up on me sometimes. All right, let me try refreshing this. Maybe that'll pop it up. Uh, try going from the bottom up, maybe. Uh, Hood and Brown, Hiddly Fiddly D, Sargon's dead spawn, I see. Elizabeth Bathory. Sargon's son is the Smithsonian's dinosaur part. From Dijon Mustard, Carl's Jr.'s never... <laughs> Carl's Jr.'s fresh, never frozen. From Christopher Grimm, Duck, Duck, Go is racist, too. Angel Riviera, can you please say, Hi, O'Brien, I'm still waiting on that buffet. Uh, the TDW2000, why is Sargon complaining? He just got helping of an atheist's favorite food. From Lou Raquel, Car er, Carl, why are you fighting us? We just care about you. Carl, we want to know how you're doing. Come home, Carl. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Hold on. I've got a good clip, I think, that sums up people's reaction to what he's doing right now. <laughs> I think this really sums it up. Oh, is this it? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is this feels like the internet's reaction to Sargon melting down, essentially. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! no. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, what are you doing? What are you doing, Carl? Okay, sorry. Just, I thought that I thought that was suitable. It's a nice little, nice little, nice little thing. Oh, chat. What do we? What do we do, Carl? Oh, Carl, no, 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 not Carl. What are you doing? Spencer Kane. What's with the dead babies? Whiskey bunny. Uh, from Trues, Maloney was hiding. He was a Jew. Defends Jews, lashes out at people calling them out. I'm completely behind on this. I'll have to go look into it. I didn't know JF and uh, Maloney were going at each other. From Fiefloaf, kissy face winky emoji. Neuro719, Texas is a great place. Ian McDonald, lolly rapist should be your streaming name. Ah, that's a good suggestion. Spud Nux, WSJ reporting Hillary will run in 2020. Here we go. Is she really going to run in 2020? Oof. That is going to be fucking amazing. I really wanted it to be Joe Biden because that'd be funny, but I'll take I'll take another go with Hillary. That ought to be good. From Causality, name your stream me show, The Liberalist Lounge. Wanna, oh, Pen O'Shea, want to laugh? Look up Don't Be Rama Rama on YouTube. From Null Ripper, Sogon, oh no, this is, yeah, we've read this one. Uh, Sargon's Dirty Deeds Done by V. If you're moving on to Stream Me, does this mean you're finally doing Deviants After Dark? 
Oh uh, yeah, I'll do normal videos. I'll put them up on YouTube like I always do. Uh, but I'll just I'll keep all the streaming shit over there because it'll be easier. And they've got more shit to work with. You can do polls right in the fucking chat. Uh, it's less bullshit, I think. And they've, they're more lax on rules. And I don't have to delete it. I can just leave it up. I don't have to move it to another channel or do any of that shit. So I, I think it's the best solution. I've watched Ralph and Worski and Cognificent and you know, a ton of other people stream on that platform now for like a week and a half. Uh, and they've been pretty good. I haven't really heard any stories about people getting banned or getting taken down for content they put up. Uh, they seem pretty pretty relaxed. And now, I, that's no guarantee it's going to be like that forever, but usually with smaller sites, when you join them uh, right at the beginning or when they're still really small, you've got a pretty good window of a year or two where they kind of just leave you the fuck alone and let you do your stuff. So, I, I don't know. Maybe as an alternative for a while, it'll it'll work out. Who knows? From a hopeless semantic, can we have a Donga erotic fanfic contest? Well, you know, we're going to do the VR contest. Everybody sent in their submissions. I have them gathered up. We'll do the VR contest, let's say Wednesday, uh, Wednesday evening at 5 o'clock Eastern on Stream Me, because by then I should have it set up and it should be good to go. Uh, we'll do it then, and then I'll announce the next contest after that. I was thinking maybe a musical competition, because I need fucking music to play. I'm not sure what the subject will be. Uh, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out before the stream. Because we've had artists do it twice. Maybe there's some musicians in the audience can make up some good fucking songs. From Joni Baloney, the quartering looks like an octoroon is constantly suggested to me. I'd rather not. He covers topics I like, but I hate his body language. From John Doe, this is now a Spider-Man stream. From Chrono Adog, you shouldn't have shown the silicone article. Sarkon will probably use the silicone to inflate his ego. From James McGinnis, newcomer here. What's happening right now? Uh, just a Sunday funny stream. I'm going through Super Chats and we're we're wrapping up soon. Magna Thedra, Sarkoon was climbing boulders with Tonka Squaw? Mike's content, Sargon and DeFranco touched my balloon knot. Okay, I, it's looping back on itself now. I feel like I've missed some of these, but I, I, it's it's acting a little wonky on me today. Let me, I'll read the last ones here. Refresh, try to get it back up. From Angela Ziegler, Superberry, parenthesis, parenthesis, parenthesis. From Diversity is Our Strength, Sargon eats fetus sauce off the cold hospital floor. At Beyond Wing, why did Sargon's dead baby cross the road? It was stapled to the chicken. HTR to you, if you're going to go to stream.me, ask mods to sunset the gay unicorn. It's scarier than Paz Blogger's butt plug. I'm late as fuck, lol, from Noise Bunny. Are you watching JBA Vento right now? Uh, no, no, I'm not. Uh, Joseph Radicals, Sargon was waiting in the hospital and the doctor came in with the baby and threw it on the ground and started kicking it. Sargon says, what the fuck? Doctor says, just kidding, it was a stillborn. Eric Bellamoni, at Applebee's, Sargon served me some stillborn soup. Now I know where they get the ingredients from. From Kumpala, Sardon is one connection away from Trump and Nigel Farage knows his name, while V is one away from a miscarriage. Dolmo Grin, do you think when Sargon said he streams Peppa Pig with his kid... It's with his phone in the graveyard. Oof. Oh, chat. No mercy today. From Snowball Fish, for the music segment, is death metal allowed? Uh, yep, any, I'll, I'll allow any genre of music. It's just a theme I haven't picked out. From Dane Kennedy, I heard people these days have a vor fetish. What I think yours, oh, what I think yours needs is a vor fetish. Hillary Clinton 2020, 2020 campaign trail. Epion Wing again, what's the difference between a dead baby and a UKIP membership? Sargon doesn't have a UKIP membership. <laughs> Unmerciful. Sweet squad not being so sweet today. But again, I disavow nothing. Say whatever the fuck you want, it's a free chat. Okay, and finally, I need insurance for my optimism. Love you, Jim, and say DBZ Goku is a faggot. Uh, there you go. DBZ Goku is a faggot. Uh, I hope that satisfies you. I need insurance for my opinions. Uh, well, thank you for coming out to Sunday Fun Day. Uh, we will do the art contest, like I said, on Stream Me. I'm going to start streaming over there. Uh, it seems like people are getting kicked off over here. Makes the most sense. Might as well be preemptive. Uh, you know, plan ahead a little bit and jump on over there. Uh, videos will still go up here. Uh, art contest is moved to Wednesday. And then after that, we'll do the music contest. 
I've got the majority of uh, submissions, and since they let me do pulls over there, it should be really quick. So we won't have to do the, you know, press one, press two shit. You can actually just click on a poll and answer. So it's much more fucking streamlined than it is over here on YouTube. Uh, and we'll have a normal Sunday Funday next week. Uh, getting back into more normal shit of laughing at degenerates on the internet. Uh, but yeah, just to sum up, um, really weird what these fucking people are doing. Uh, running around basically doing the shit they bitched about other people doing forever. Uh, and just uh, being scummy little snakes. Little dirty, evil little slithery snakes. That's that's how I describe it. Now, I don't know if Sargon is still stream sniping. I think he had to rewind so he could catch up to the live broadcast. So by the time, you know, I'm going to finish up here in a few minutes. He's probably still doing it. Uh, if you if you want to watch a replay of the stream, there you go. You can listen to Smug Chuckles overlaid on top of it. Uh, oh, we've got a few more. I'll, re I'll read these and then we'll call it a day. Not my fault, bro. Where do we send the art for the contest? Hashtag. I uh, just sent it at, at Mr. Antibully and he will get it to me. From Team Promethean, uh, Milo Pro Coach, fitness training for non cucks. From Recoon86, howdy Jim, see you at stream.me. De or Dovin Death, call your channel Skeptic Slayer and change your avatar to Goblin Slayer with your stars. From Tag Jim, there's a lot more to the gay silicone inflation story. It involves other deaths, shady doctors, and some weird shit. Well, you know what? That sounds like a good follow up for next Sunday Fun Day. We will begin the investigation of a man whose testicles were full of silicone. Inebriated Llama, if you're looking for a good mental donga tune, try Radamahata by Sepulchre. And you know what? I, I want to end this. You know, there is something I want to end this with. Let me see if I can find it. I'm not sure what channel he put it on. Uh, hopefully I can find this. I think it's a good outro. Yep. Just, just given everything that's happened, I'm going to let this play us out. I don't think he's going to mind me showing this video on stream. It's from Coach Red Pill. The video is called Susan, and it's addressed to a very special, boulder-loving kind of guy. I since, you know, since we got an audience here, I figured, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, uh, let's just show it. So here is Susan from Coach Red Pill. Hope you have a good Sunday. Hope you had a good weekend. I will see you on Wednesday at stream.me. You can follow or you can follow up on Mr. Anti-Bully's Twitter for the the channel's name, I guess. And uh, we will do the art contest this Wednesday. And this Sunday, we will begin our investigation of gay sex cults and their need to inflate their testicles with silicone to, to, to please their masters, apparently. And we'd like to recognize you and all your hard work with the silver play button. A small token of our esteem and, her, and respect. Uh. Okay. We know you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have the drive to create and share. Because you have found an audience who cares, believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem like a long way off right now, but you're closer than you think, and, we, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Sincerely, Susan Wij uh, Wojcicki, CEO of YouTube. <laughs>